Wick's got a, a man versus bear panel right now. Okay. Um, we have a couple more uh, guests that will hopefully be here soon. Uh, we'll let them give their opening statements when they get here. But for now, we have one more <coughs> guest to get through, and that is Xerxes. <coughs> man or bear, buddy? Uh, I'm going to obviously pick a man. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you posed a question to me personally, I'd still pick the man, no matter how you slice that cake, no matter how you cut that cookie, even if it were a dangerous man, I still have very many options of which to handle that situation. But it could be a friendly man, of which we could then be partners to work together to escape said forest. A bear, on the other hand, I only got two options. Scare him away or die. <laughs> and as such, you know, um, to me, the obvious answer should be, a man, but I do understand uh, why ladies would pick the bear. At first, I believed it was because they were uh, trying to dunk on young men, but I listened to them just like they asked me to, and I finally figured out exactly what the issue is, that I actually think women are right about this. And that is, a lot of men don't listen to women. So I've listened to women, I've considered it, I've thought very hard about it, and I still come to the conclusion that even for women, it would be better for them to encounter a random man rather than a random bear. And as such, I will give out my arguments uh, today. So hopefully, uh, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be a fun show. It'll be fun. I hopefully. Think. Well, no, thanks for being here. And I guess we'll get it into, into it. So, uh, ladies, I just got to ask, why bear? Well, like, if you came at, like, are you, first of all, is this a meme? Is this a joke? That's what I thought of originally, right? Like, this is just kind of a meme people were doing. But like, uh, why, why would you choose a bear over a man? Please give your, give your thoughts. Go ahead. Uh, well, for me, it's, um, what you think about is the worst, uh, situation of, uh, either two outcomes. Um, people think death is all we fear, but, um, death is not what we fear in a situation like that. Death um, is worse than right. There have been plenty of cases, um, of, um, of men doing terrible things to women and the last thing being death. Um, and so that is what we fear most. Uh, can you be a little more specific? Um, the violent crimes against women is, um, tends to be a, like a sexual assault and rape, um, sometimes torture. And, um, at, the end of it all death um versus a swift clean death of a bear oh it won't be swift or... no 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 that's incorrect bears do not swiftly kill any of their prey so uh, what you're actually picking with the bear is either the opportunity i struggle to see a situation where death isn't the worst outcome where it's not like oh you've been fucking kidnapped and put on a life support machine that just makes you get like fucking brutally raped all the time Sure, okay, maybe then the rape is worse than the death. But otherwise, your life's over. Why the fuck would you want... What, how is... How is it better to die than just get raped once? <laughs> you scare him away, or to literally be eaten alive, piece by piece. So, let's um, frame so that the, correctly. So, the worst, mm -hmm. worst case scenario is that your organs get cut out. Um, and you, oh, it, takes case, about two, two, it takes as, about as two, pulls you apart. it takes right. about two yeah, hours right. to bleed out. And most of the time when you bleed out at a. So the, the length of the suffering. So, okay. So you get raped for three hours, but only takes two hours to bleed out. So you suffered for less time. So it's better fucking retard certain point about an hour marker. You pass mm -hmm. out versus mm -hmm. let's take, the, um, you know some of the worst horrific cases of of women being women being um uh, essentially tortured and and raped and for like out, days on end i think there was a um a ja uh, case in japan where a woman uh said no to a guy um and he got butt hurt about it so like any normal man um he kidnapped her uh he raped her uh had bunch of his buddies granted there's not gonna be anyone there bunch of his buddies rape him torture her um burn her to death uh no actually she dude why are women are just fucking insane aren't they i saw on youtube's tos you can't 
mock people. But it's like apparently it's harassment to mock people if they got sexually assaulted. Like if you do what Drake did, that's against YouTube TOS. I found that out on JSOC stream. But there's certainly a problem where some people have a bad thing happen to them. And then it totally informs every perspective and opinion they ever have to the point of total irrationality and delusion. Yeah, not Junji Ito. It's uh, Junko Furuta, the, the girl who got fucking kidnapped in Japan. Yeah. Junji Ito is the mangaka. Are you able to find clips of women streaming in Japan and getting stalked and borderline assaulted by random wandering men? What? She survived the burning. Burned her, put objects in her. Just terrible fuck. You can look at almost eating the toy okay. box killers one um, is another example. So but she just... lived in that, right? No, she died. After oh, so 44 I... days of torture. Oh, so they, they kidnapped her and they kept her for 44 days. Yeah, and kept yeah. her alive and did a terrible fuck. You can look up the case. It's called Ju mm -hmm. uh, Jun Junko? Junko Furuda? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. That one case, that one case is worse than how a bear usually kills you. Sure. Yep. That one case between several people that required a house, a bunch of equipment. Like, this isn't playing out. This isn't playing out in the forest. This is the thing. Is if, a, if a, It's like, okay, the worst case scenario in the forest is you get raped and killed, really, with the man. That's the worst case scenario. But even then, there's a, less, there's a lower chance of that happening than the bear killing you. Exactly. The rule of question says it's one guy, not a pack of guys versus a pack of bears. Exactly, right? Um, you can also look at the victims of the uh, toy box killer. Um, I mean, some of the most horrific, uh, horrific crimes done against women are are a done by like terrible, well, done all mostly by men. And, well, no, no. Uh, go ahead and add the descriptor: terrible men, right? Yeah. Well, uh, I, evil I that, men, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so, so this isn't the normal modus operandi of males, correct? Um, I mean, we can look at... Um... Okay, okay. so I'm going to turn this around, all right? Let's talk about evil women, okay? Let's talk about evil women. What would you rather have happen, guys? What would you rather have happen? You get killed in the forest by a bear? Or you go to a forest with a woman, and she gets in your fucking head, and makes the next 20 years of your life absolutely nothing but misery, and then you kill yourself at the end of it. Which one? Which one, guys? Like, we can, we can play this game till the, end of the, till the end of the fucking time. It's just... Women just have different ways of hurting men. We can look at statistics online, the FBI statistics. Oh, we could, but like, what is the normal leads, modus so operandi who, who leads, of men? Who leads in rape? Men or women? It depends on the environment, actually. What kind of man? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what specific kind of man leads in rape? Yeah. Oh, I mean, if you Not look at the... Not all men. There's F certain F men who are much more uh, uh, likely, FBI, right? It's there's a FBI reports of um, men leading... Um, oh, wait, no, yeah, it'd be criminals, right? Uh, it'd be criminals, <laughs> right? It would be criminals, you're, right? You're, you're in the woods. Yeah, you think it, there's law there? The but that's the thing, though, right? So, so but, you but, made... But, but, before I mean, you don't have So, so... So would you rather? So if you had to pick, so if you had to pick, would you go to the forest with a white man? Go on too much before you guys go on. Or a black much, man. I want to try to get V in here too, right? Um, I want to give answer, v woman. Answer, progressive Vincent, woman. Do you agree with your cohort, uh, Cham? Here, <laughs> what what are your thoughts? Um. Yeah, in retrospect, um, with you know, I'd probably, I'd probably be a lot safer for me to run into a man in the woods um but i'm leaning a lot harder to think a bear in the woods because it's a lot cooler but um <laughs> however however like a bear isn't gonna you know like sexually assault me or do anything weird to my body <clears throat> now you're being rude to your mind... body sorry is disemboweling you not rude enough it immediately but, uh... jumps to the worst possible <laughs> conclusion right Overwhelmingly, men don't do this. Overwhelmingly, you're not going to meet a man whose first inclination in the middle of the woods is to sexually assault you. 
If anything, his first inclination <laughs> will be to figure out how we got it. there. Uh, sorry, Maybe a magical stop, stop, spell, stop. some aliens probably put him there. That's probably what he's going to think about first. Long before he gets to, I'm going to sexually assault this woman. If anything, if you're worried about the man being sexually attracted to you, what he's probably going to do long before he gets there is try to impress you by building you a hut. Try to impress you by catching some fish. Try to impress you by catching a snake. That's long before he's just like, well... Time to get to work. That's not that's not how normal men operate. Okay, here's you, some you... here's some super chats I'm gonna read because I like money. Um this is from five dollars from Zephyr Hash. If we are using statistics, does the color of the man matter? Why or why not? If we are oh. using worse outcomes, would women be worried about women too? Um and that's a question I guess we'll ask before I get to the rest of these. Does the race matter? You're traveling in the woods, you're trapped in the woods alone. Why, man, the you come man. across a woman or you come across a bear. Which one is worse oh, in your opinion? No, go back to the other one, Wick. Um, I would pick, uh, for me, I'd, I'd pick the woman. Interesting. And, and mm. same question for you, V. Woman or bear? Um, well, woman or bear? You know, I actually want to give benefit of the doubt to probably a woman. Um, it's just, I, what, it just needs to be said. It's not healthy to walk around in your everyday life being more scared of 50% of the population than you are of a, a giant mammal that would murder you immediately. Um, oh, so she gets the benefit of the doubt, not the men. No, I'm sorry, hold on. No, I mean, like, what, which one would I want? <laughs> which, one would I want to, which one would I rather still prefer to go into, um, like, meat uh, is um, a bear? Because it's no, just I'm like, sure, sure. in all fairness, it's just a, like that. I don't, I don't know that woman. I also don't know that man. Well, you don't know the so, bear either. Sure, I you, don't you know the bear. You think you think the person like Pooh Bear? Well, I've got some honey for you. I've got some honey. You want some? British what is this? What is this accent? First of all, yeah. okay. Yeah. Now I'm changing my opinion. I, if I had to come across that a man with that accent or a bear, I'm choosing the bear. He won. He won. Oh, he won. Wick saving. Okay. He's safer with a terrible accent. He's rising. I don't know so, about so, that. So, so, Granted, I'm a little so, biased because I'm wearing a Winnie the Pooh necklace right now. Um, so, so you think Pooh Bear? He's gonna he's gonna dap you up in the forest, no. Right? Um, <laughs> it's more of it's. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think we all know what's really going on here, and I think Lav said it best, to be honest. I think we all know what's really going on here. Of like, um, I don't know that man. I don't know that woman. And honestly, I'm probably more prepared to run into a bear who is willing to hurt me than a man or a woman uh, willing to hurt me. Okay. Unless you said less likely or more likely. I'm more prepared for a bear. More you're more prepared for the bear? Yeah. The if I'm out in the woods, if bear. I'm out if I'm out in the woods mm -hmm. and so, I'm like, you know, I'm camping, right? I okay. should be prepared for like, you know, bears. I'm out in the woods with bears, dude. Okay, so you got your bear spray. And you I got my bear mace. Think, you don't think that you would be prepared for a, a human male. There's no there's no way long before we get to, I'm in the forest alone, to where you could prepare for a human male, like with a, a firearm, hand-to-hand -hand combat training, SOS device. There's no there's no way to prepare for a, a, a man. So, you can only prepare for a bear in that environment. Yeah, just shoot him first. There we go. Uh, I'm not even saying you shoot him first. Put the gun on your hip. You see a random man. Hey, hello, yeah, how are you doing? Right? Now you're guys. prepared. Right? That's not the scenario, though. Thank you. The that's scenario true. is that's you true. in the but, woods but, and you encounter here's... one or the other, a random true, bear, right? a random man. Mm -hmm. But what I was challenging there was her, her preparation for the bear. That's the point I was making there. Okay. Let, let's go back to the original scenario. Again, randomly, a male or a bear, are you guys going to tell me you're more prepared to face off with the bear than to face off with the man? If we're just going worst case scenario, worst case, you're more prepared. The bear than the man. Okay. What are you all five two? Yes. Who, who, yeah. So you're five two, right? You think five two? You're gonna scare off the the four hundred pound grizzly <laughs> bear. There's precautionary steps in which when you uh, encounter a bear, I agree. And there uh, a non for males. Oh, let, let let her finish. Let her. Yeah. Hey, you got 
but there's no way to reason with a man. No, and then there, I got more super is... chats, by the way. But um, <laughs> so, uh, so there's a make yourself look bigger. Uh, B uh, play dead. Um, not, not playing dead. That's awful advice. <clears throat> no, it actually that's that's what the parks department said. So it's it's it depends advice. on the bear. It depends it's, on the bear. It's, it's terrible. And advice. it depends on the situation. Well, it doesn't sound like you're an expert in that, but um, <laughs> I'll take the ex, uh, expertise over yours. Um, I, I wouldn't take the expert's and then advice on that there, at all. Yeah, of course. That's why you don't go to doctors or anything like that, but go on. Uh, you know. Um, so taking the, uh, man, you keep talking. The scavengers. Oh, the let her. Come on, come on. Let, you got to let them finish. You got to let them finish. All the piece of shit. All the piece of shit. Just caught every time she tried to speak. <laughs> We gotta get we gotta get my super chats and then we gotta get jane in okay, okay. Yes, uh, yeah there's precautionary steps in uh which tend to work and it's shown to work and the research has shown that it's worked the rare times a bear attacks it's a you're in its den and it's got babies or b it's fucking hungry hungry as fuck other than that there's usually no fucking reason for a bear to attack you but there's every it's reason for so a man rare. to attack you this is every oh, man yeah. has every reason to attack you just, um, just, under, 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 that man has every reason, not the bear that could eat you. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, we're going gonna, gonna to cycle forever. We're going to cycle forever. I want to get to the super no. chats. I want to get to the super chats and make mm -hmm. a little money. And then we got to get Jane in, and then I see you, V. And then we're going to toss it to V. So that's the order we're going to do it in. I'm going to read my super chats that they paid money for me to read. I'm going to toss it to Jane so she can answer the question, give her a statement, and then we'll go to V. That's the order. Cool? Cool. Five dollars from Honkler three oh three. So excited to be here. Hashtag not all men. Hashtag not all bears. Hashtag stop racial po frying. Thank you for five dollars. Five dollars from cameraman five oh two. If you don't oh, want to meet on. a man in the woods over a bear, why would what I want one in that? my girl's bathroom? Mm. Thank you for the five dollars. But uh jumping over that topic, right? We're gonna pass it to Jane. Jane, man or a bear and why? Go ahead. All right, so um and I will have my camera on in like two minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, but I choose bear. When I first heard this question, I heard all the women choosing bear and I was like, they're fucking crazy. Um, but then I thought about it more and there's like a lot of reasons why I would choose a bear. Um, one of them being that the odds of me scaring a bear away. Woman thinks more comes to dumber conclusion. Wow. Crazy. How, how does that work? are much higher than me scaring a man away. I have pretty much 0% chance of scaring a man, whereas a bear is almost always equally afraid of me as I am of it. Also, okay. bears are much more predictable than humans are. Um, okay. The wild animal. Here, look, it's easy to scare a man away. <laughs> yes. Just say, just just ask him for <laughs> commitment, animal. okay? Just say you want an actual relationship <laughs> with a lot of commitment. That man's running, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> Uh, not not like Wick though. Not like Wick. Wick would settle down. Hold on, hold on. I, I want to make sure Jane finishes before before. Yeah. Either. So yeah. like animals are a lot more predictable than humans. I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. Um, especially if you know, like, or if you're familiar with animal behavior. Um, they're also like bear attacks are very rare. Um, there's very like few instances when a bear will attack. It's like when they're surprised or startled or when they're um they feel threatened. So the like um, because. I'm sorry. Well, no. So, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's likely for a man in the woods to attack you. But what I'm saying is that out of a bear attack and a man attack, I have much more of a chance of surviving that. And I also think because humans have like the um, the chance of being like sadistic, whereas bears are just like they're animals. So I think I'd rather take my chances with a bear. And again, I have a chance of scaring away the bear. I don't have a chance of scaring away the man. You have a chance of talking to the man. You can have a conversation with the man. I know, you but like- You can survive I'm... with the man. You In can an convince attack, the though. man to not hurt you. But you're presupposing that you're being attacked. You, you can talk to him. You can't do that with the bear. So like, when you, when you, like, let's frame this- How do they not get it? It's out correctly, right? So you we got we got to pass minute. it to V after though. Right. Finish your so, statement. So I'm gonna finish this, right? You're telling me that the human being that you can converse with, that you see consistently in society, you it wouldn't dawn on you to speak to that person 
hey, bro, listen, like, let's figure this out, man. We're alone here. Let's try to survive. You think that their predilection, their first thought is, well, <sighs> well, no, no one will catch me. No one will know. If you rape a gun. In the woods. Time to activate the devil gene, right? This is going to so give you a tech and you. finisher and just, come on. How easy is it right now to convince us three women that um, we would have a better chance with a man in the woods than a bear? Is it how easy? Yeah. You said, you know, you can just convince a man to, like, let you go or, like, be okay. But, like, mm -hmm. you can't even convince us right now. Well, the objective here is to there. convince you. My, my hope is that at the end I have convinced you. Uh, so that's my victory condition. Because my victory condition is one of two things. We'll see. You either A, change your answer, or B, you admit that you have androphobia and you have an irrational fear of men, oh, and that's what's leading you to answer this. Yo. I'm not afraid of you. Oh. You must be. Because apparently you're not afraid of bears either okay. because you would choose to engage I, we gotta, with a bear. We got to right? open this up a little how, how bit. Not converge hold, on, the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to open this up a bit. I want to make sure that V gets a chance to answer. Then we're going to go to Cham. And I promise you're going to get to respond to all of them, Xerxes. You are. Okay. I promise you. <laughs> but you got you to gotta wait. You got to wait a little bit. You got to let them get it out. And then you can attack them like you would if you were trapped okay. in the <laughs> But anyway, go ahead, V. Give us your thoughts. Okay. You've been trying to get like in. We said no to you. Um... I'd like to point out that um, since 1784, there's only been 180 fatal human slash bear conflicts. Even now, less than a dozen non-fatal conflicts are recorded. And I just want to have the thought of, like, compare that to how many men... Did you sign up for the FemCell dating app? <laughs> I did make a dummy account. I think I might do a video. I'm thinking about it. Uh... I, thought, I shouldn't say that on stream, really, because then people will be asking about it. But I was, I'm was thinking about doing some content on it. I probably will. I'll do some kind of content on it at some point, whether it's on stream or video, but yeah. Are assaulting or, you know, hurting women. That and that's just sheer proximity. Most people aren't around bears. If they were more around bears, it'd be more Yes, bears but bears. even in it's national parks. Yeah, we were looking at some of the profiles in chat earlier. And one of them was just like... It, <laughs> the profile picture was like just some anime girl. It's like... Female, 23, homo schizophrenic, chronic masturbator, <laughs> shit like that. It's so good. Oh, man. The National Park statistics, there are more homicide deaths than there are uh, wildlife. Deaths. Because even in national parks, you're around humans more than bears. The National okay, Park there, Rangers there, don't want there, to there, just be around the wild several... bear. There's several towns uh, where bears outnumber the people, yet the crime is higher and the deaths are higher do so they spend the time with the bears or the humans have you ever heard with both there is a town up uh, all the way north it's called Svalsborg. Mm -hmm. it's owned by yeah, norway okay. i don't know if you've ever heard of it mm -hmm. the polar bears which is the most dangerous bear outnumber mm -hmm. the human beings right mm -hmm. and, and they, they break bread with less, the polar bears there is far less deaths Mm -hmm. With the polar bear, then there are with humans far less sexual assaults. Guess Do what? Polar they bears spend rape time zero. Sexual with the yes. polar bears. Yes, it's a research play. <laughs> no, yes. they, they literally have. To, you don't even know where the place is. <laughs> yes, they do. It's a research center. No. Okay, so it's a research center where they're purposely out there researching the polar bears. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, polar bears so like so that. So I have to imagine that they that they have some precautions they have weapons they probably have a bunch of different um like fires i'm not gonna call them fire sticks but a whole bunch of different things that they could use to scare off the polar bears i would yes. imagine that because the purpose is to oh, research the players and shit like they're, <laughs> it's such a non-comparison the they're stocked up to the nines however i would imagine that they trust the humans that are around them so you want to argue that their trust is broken because the the males there i guess it's only the males there are assaulting the females and that and that's fine that doesn't change the fact that a polar bear is one far more dangerous and two you have a much why, higher why and better advantage that women don't fucking trust women when literally you guys constantly break that for us so you, can, you can't say you guys i haven't right Man. you gotta give that to the to Come the on, criminals don't take it don't what? worry don't take huh? it personally let's, let's, I know let's put that personal. Oh, I didn't rape but exactly but it's important right well, yeah okay well, i'm not saying you women you guys, you fucking, you whoers. Hmm. 
you hooers do this thing. No, you would cry about that, wouldn't you? Obviously. Right? Because you're trying to make me take on the collective sins of males that I, I that I'm just not. I'm not him. I'm not that guy. Put, incarcerate no, the guy I, who I, did I, it. I to... Be upset with the man who did it. Focus on the man who did it. He's a yeah, criminal. Because we know, because we know a man. Did no, for, there's something there's wrong no with him. Laws. At least uh... when a bear attacks you, you humans go and fucking hunt it down and shoot it. When when a we man attacks a woman, we hunt down the man and then we have no, a trial we for him. Don't. What are you we, can we give him a probation, so, so the, so the, a probation so the, because God forbid he's he's gonna have a. You literally have so many fucking mm -hmm. cases. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. look at uh Brock Turner is a huge example. No, he Brock was Turner. Brock boy. Turner was like this is two thousand eight. We're going back to Brock Turner. It was literally two thousand eight, wasn't it? When was the Brock Turner case? It might not have been that long ago. To be fair. 2015. 2015, Jesus. He was convicted. Oh, no, it was January 18th, 2015. It was when the incident happened. Turner was stopped by two other guys, though. Well, yeah, but she's talking about the sentencing, isn't she? Oh, hmm. no, 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 no. See, the thing with Brock Turner is Brock Turner digitally penetrated the young lady. There's a whole bunch of ambiguity with that case where it's a lot blurry. Brock Turner didn't come randomly out of the shadows like a ninja and just grab the woman. They were dancing. They were kissing. They were drunk. They're out in in, in oh the street. They're falling. He's started. fingering her. You say that, you're but really, I'm, I looked at the case, really right? really doing so, that? So I am really doing that, right? Because... It's not saying that Brock Turner. First of all, first of all, I didn't say that. You Brittany said that. Simon. I didn't say that. Brittany Simon. Thank you. Oh. For so okay, I don't know. I've always just accepted the narrative on the Brock Turner case. I haven't looked into it, but the idea that the moment someone starts talking to me, you're like, really, really, I I, I don't know what the fucking DA does this case is. The case are like truly. Let's have a look. So, <clears throat> two Swedish graduate students. Peter Lars Johnson and Carl Frederick Arndt were cycling on the Stanford campus about 1 a.m. when they spotted the assault taking place. Clint Arndt and Johnson, they surprised Turner behind a dumpster as he was on top of an unconscious 22-year-old Chanel Miller whose dress had been pulled up to expose genitals. The underwear and cell phone having been dropped beside her. Johnson and Arndt saw Turner thrust his hips into Miller, whom the two men observed appeared to be unconscious. Johnson testified that he confronted Turner and asked him, what the fuck are you doing? She's unconscious. According to Johnson, Turner quickly arose and attempted to flee the scene. As Aunt briefly went to determine whether she was breathing, Johnson traced, chased Turner, tripped him, and held him down around 75 feet, 23 meters away from the dumpster, asking, what are you smiling for? Later responding to the assistant district attorney's questions during trial, Turner testified that he was laughing because he found the situation ridiculous. <clears throat> Aunt then joined the chase, helping to pin Turner down, while a third bystander called sheriff's deputies. When the authorities arrived, they arrested Turner on suspicion of attempted rape. According to a deputy sheriff, who described the victim as unconscious at the scene, when Miller arrived at the hospital, she did not respond to shouting and being shaken by shoulders. She regained consciousness at 4.15 a.m. She later testified to Turner's trial, at Turner's trial that at the time she, re she regained consciousness, she had pine needles in her hair and on her body, and dried blood on her hands and elbows. Interview put with police said she did not recall being alone with a man during the, that night, she did not consent to any sexual activity. At the hospital, she was found to have abrasions and arrhythmia reddening on her skin. One nurse who administered a sexual response team examination at the hospital determined that she had experienced significant trauma, physical injury, bruising, etc., and penetrating trauma, piercing and cutting injuries. <coughs> Turner and Miller had attended a party at Kappa Alpha Order, Fraternity earlier in that night. Her sister testified in the trial that Turner, a man previously unknown to Miller, had approached her twice and attempted to kiss her, but that she pulled away. She also testified she never saw Turner and her sister at the party. According to a police report compiled in the morning after the incident, Turner at first told police that he met Miller outside the fraternity house and left with her. He also stated he did not know her name and stated that he would not be able to recognize her if he saw her again. After his arrest, 
Turner told police that he met Miller at the Kappa Alpha house. They drank beer together, walked away from the house holding hands, and that he took off her clothes and fondled her while she rubbed his back. Turner then said he got nauseous and told her he needed to vomit. Turner said he got up and started to walk away to throw up and heard another person saying something to him which he could not understand. Then he heard the same person talking to another person in a foreign language. Turner, Turner initially denied, but later admitted that he ran from the two Swedish graduate students before being tackled. During his trial testimony, Turner said that he and Miller drank beer together, danced, kissed at the party, and agreed to go back to his room. Turner stated that Miller slipped on a slope behind a wooden shed, and Turner got down to the ground and started kissing her. Turner stated that he then asked her if she wanted to him to finger her, to which she said yes. He said that he fingered her for a minute, and they were kissing, and then they started dry humping. Turner testified that he stumbled down an incline where he was confronted by Johnson and Aunt, who were saying things like, you're sick, and do you think that's okay? Turner testified that he did not know what they were talking about. <clears throat> Turner stated that he fled when Johnson tried to put him in an arm lock. Both prosecuting attorney Ginochi and Miller stated that Turner's narrative during trial testimony was fabricated. Ginochi argued to the jury he's able to write the script because he, she has no memory. But just because he wrote the script doesn't mean that knowledgeable jurors have to believe it. The victim described Turner's testimony as presenting a strange new story that almost sounded like a poorly written young adult novel. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, he did it. Nah, he guilty. Nah, he guilty as fuck. And that shit that this guy just said was to that's totally not true. There's no way that's true. That's just his fucking retarded testimony. For the raid, I really appreciate you. So, you want to jump in on the bear versus man thing? You're welcome to just jump backstage. We've had a we had a cancellation, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, and let me make a little read. money here. I got some super chats to read, and then mm -hmm. we'll get into it. I don't want to get so far on the Brock Turner thing. I want to keep this to the bear mm -hmm. versus man, but it is fair to to at least talk about it a little bit. But it's um, important to clear that I, up, right? I get you. Know? you. I get you. But mm -hmm. let me read my super chats, and then we'll get to it. And, I, mm -hmm. and we have more people here. I want to make sure everyone gets a turn. Okay, we'll get to it. I promise you. <laughs> $5 from Rabid Wombat to say nothing they've said applies solely to men. In theory, they should pick bears over their fellow unpredictable and dangerous women, too. $5 from Cameraman502. You know you are legally required to carry a gun if you leave town in Svalbard. Svalbard? I don't know how to say name. Guess why. Um, yeah. And with that, let's, uh, let's toss it to... I want to give Jane a chance to jump in here, and then V, and then we'll go to Chan. I made a PowerPoint. You made a PowerPoint? <laughs> I made a PowerPoint. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to Jane it's first. It's not like going. four slides, but yeah. Well, let's go to Jane first. Jane, what you got? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh man, wait. So, what was the last thing that we? Did? I I totally just drew a blank. What was the last thing you were just arguing? <laughs> well, we were trying to clear up the Bronx Turner case. It wasn't. It was not as cut and dry as a, as a random encounter, right? With just some dude attacking a woman. There's a lot of murky gray area where these two people are drunk, they're kissing, they're flirting, and then he, he and the woman find themselves in a precarious situation. So that hurts your argument because Doesn't? even even men that you would like trust can hurt you too, and like right. Well, that's how they Wouldn't break that hurt your, That's how that you get betrayed. Argument? Not at all. If the higher probability is that men won't do this. But the higher probability is a bear will do this, as in attack you again. You guys are what? All of between five, five, nine, not even, probably five, nine is the shortest, right? If the probability is that you are in a far dangerous situation with this animal and you're not in that same situation with the male, it does not rationally or logically conclude that you should pick the long death of a bear to the possibility that you can converse, talk with, and figure out the situation with the man. Even if the man does move towards sexually assaulting you, you can still have a better chance fighting him than you would ever have fighting the bear. Think about that. It's, true. it's My easier to fight a male than a bear. E far easier. So I want to see you guys contend with that. Mm. You have to engage the well, man. You got, you got how, how are you even thinking about that? No, the bear would just move. The bear can run so much. The bear can, will literally walk you down. Uh, there's lots of women that would probably survive if I attack them, let's be honest. There's no women that go survive if a bear attacks them, okay? 
They can literally just they they can they they have no care. They do not give a fuck. You can flail uh, and fucking scream and punch, but I, that bear is fucking more than you, no matter what. With it, you got to no. give them a chance yeah, to do it. it. Go ahead. It depends yeah. what kind of bear. I would say I like one hundred percent black, like a black bear you can fight off grizzly bear polar bear like man woman like i mean people have survived bears Literally, nah i'd win nah i'd win nah <laughs> attacks but like you're pretty fucked if they do um aggress towards you but this is what i'm this is my point i'm not i'm not saying men are like all dangerous or like you should be a, a, scared of them also i think that, like the the context of like what kind of woods what season um like what's the situation like <laughs> where in the woods are you but anyways besides all that i'm saying well if uh, if it's winter and they're hibernating then the, i probably won't even see the bear in the woods the likeliness of a man who does attack you like you're more likely to survive a bear attacking you than a man attacking you and i think the probability of a man attacking you is more likely than a bear attacking you. So hold on, you think it, it's harder to survive a man than a bear? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, you have to substantiate well, hold that. Hold on, well, why, hold on, V, why do you agree? <laughs> I, th I think a man who does want to hurt you is probably more dangerous than a bear who does want to hurt you because bears won't follow through unless you're stuck in a cage with them or something. Why would you what? think that? Most bears run, most bears run away. And it's most men don't attack you. So why would you think <laughs> that if the bear attacked you, you have an easier chance to survive that encounter? Because bears are in the woods because that's mm -hmm. where they live. Yeah. A man alone in the woods, like, again, that's why he, So he can't matters. be fishing? You, he like, can't be fishing? He can't be hunting? You can't be, you can't be hunting, you can't say, be, women, like, don't get attacked and shit. But you can ask almost every that. fucking woman, and she's had shitty fucking experiences where mm -hmm. men have... Like verbally attack them, sexually assault. Okay. Yes, this this is the point though, isn't it? Is that your your answer to this question is irrational because it's based on thing the base. It's based on things having happened to you. But when you're asked, <laughs> it's because you've had bad experiences with men, so you think men are more likely to be able to harm you than anything else. You've had no interactions with bears. So you, you just don't, you aren't thinking about the fact that a bear can kill you. It's not sinking in. So your your response is irrational. Salt to them. Um, I'll give, I'll, grant, I'll grant heat. you everything. So almost every woman grant you has experienced grant you shitty that. experience with men, and you're mm -hmm. fucking shocked that women mm -hmm. don't trust no, I'm not men. Shocked. I'm not shocked at all. I'm going to grant you that fully. You have that 100%. Listen. Since before we were born, there are several forms of martial arts, several forms of training to fight dragons. No, to fight tigers. No, to fight a leprechaun. No, to fight Goro from Mortal Kombat. No, thousands of martial arts to fight other men. The idea of fighting of humans fighting each other is not new. That has been it's, it's warfare since long before we were born, probably long after. There are multiple ways of which humans are trained to combat other humans. If we're talking about fighting a human in a combat situation, you have far more ability to engage with a human than a bear. So what I want you to contend with oh, is how in the world class. do you <laughs> think it makes more sense the the to time. engage the bear no, than, the than to take the karate class and engage the human? So defend well, no, that. Defend that that makes more sense. You got, you got to let them. Go ahead, V. Out of the three of us, how many of you guys actually know how to like self-defense yourself? How many of you know how to self-defend against the bear? The point is that it's easier to engage with. You can engage in fighting another human. You cannot fight a bear. You just how do you do? How do you fight a bear? Like you flail its fucking face and it mauls you. It swings its fucking arm and just fucking disembowels you. Like that's it. You're done. How do you how do you fight that? Out of the three women from, in here, from a, I know how to like. I have a better chance of scaring off a bear than I do defending myself. You're you're from a man. how how much hold do you on, weigh? Hold on, well, you gotta one forty one forty nine. Again, again, once the bear is aggressing, I mean, it's your bank account. We'll tell you. That's that's different. <laughs> but most yeah. most bears.
Okay, Violet Smoker, I, I've recognized you're not trolling. It's insufferable. What what do you think the hypothetical is that you're in a in the woods with a man, a bear, or a man or a bear, and then a gun as well? Is that the hypothetical that's being pitched? Is that what people have been saying? Is that you are left alone in the woods with a ma with either a man or a bear, or so you have a gun? Is that what people have been saying? Or are people just saying man or a bear? Which one have you been hearing? Because I don't remember you being. I don't remember this uh, gun being part of that. It's a hypothetical violent smoker. How would you feel if you didn't have breakfast this morning? When they charge, it's called like a bluff charge. That's the most common charge. And it's like a fake charge. There's like an intimidation thing. So, like, most and bears you are think not that you going can challenge really... that. It's very rare for a bear to actually fully go on like but a. You an can challenge that. Charge. You, you're going to challenge that. How tall are you? A bluff charge? Yeah, no. How, how I mean, tall are you? The bear is afraid of me. How I, tall I'm five are you? Five one. It doesn't matter. You're I'm, five like, one, and you think you can bluff charge the bear? You're going to stand up I'm not to the bear. Charge at it. I'm going to be loud and wave my arm. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. At five <laughs> one. Yes. Okay. It, it's going to scare a bear way more than a man. A man would never be scared to go like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, like so a bear this is, might. This is, this is what I'm saying. Though. This is what I'm saying. You think, and this is what I'm trying to understand. You got to, you got to help me. You got to, you got to meet me on this bridge. You think it makes more sense at five one, right? They they say that whatever podcast just finds the dumbest OnlyFans whores they can find to bring on. But like, oh, I can't imagine Wix doing that. I mean, he doesn't have access to to try to OnlyFans scare already. off and bluff charge and go face to face with the bear. Then for you to say, wait, hold on, dude, chat with me for a second. Let's figure this out. It logically in your brain, it makes more sense to charge or face the bear than to try to converse you, with the human. You can literally Google Google women saying no to men and seeing all the fucking stories mm -hmm. of just women trying to talk. I'm to gonna men. grant. I'm Hold a on, grant. Yeah. yeah, there's no stories of women saying no to bears. Hmm, curious. Curious. Hold on, Holy. hold on. I'm Zerty, 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 I know you're Zerty, <laughs> Zerty, hold on. I know you're outnumbered and I'm letting you have a little more talk time, but you gotta let mm -hmm. them respond and finish response. And then I see your super chats. I'll get to them in a second. You, but you gotta really... let Cham go, you gotta let V go, you gotta uh, let them go, and then you can respond. I will give you time. I promise you, but you, you can't just mm -hmm. interrupt them every two seconds. Go ahead. go ahead. You literally just had a case in Germany where women were being followed by this dude in the fucking forest. What race? And he went to go rape race? and beat them up or whatever. Race, he raped race one, check. Push one down the fucking race cliff check? and then push another woman down the cliff. Race for check. Saying no to them. Religion and that's check. Just one recent story. Race you check. Constantly Google how many times women have said no to me. Just one cliff and then. What's and the story here? Literally just had a case in Germany where women were being followed by this dude in the fucking forest and he went to go rape and beat them up. Or whatever. He raped one, push one down the fucking cliff, and then push another woman down the cliff. German forest attack woman pushed down cliff. American woman dies at new new nice Okay. Castle after push down cliff. The woman 21 was visiting the popular German site with a friend when they met a man who persuaded them to take a little used trail and then assaulted them both, the police said. Oh, and look where I'm getting fucking results about this from. R slash true crime discussion. Oh, uh, I see what's got. I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. We see what's going on. We all see what's going on here. How about you stop falling asleep listening to stories about women getting raped and you won't be so scared of getting raped. Just an idea. I'm just, it's just an idea. For saying no to them. And that's just one recent story that you can constantly Google how many times women have said no to men and it's led to something dangerous. Now, how about us women here in here have said to a man, no, I'm not interested, and they fucking continue on and can't say no as a fucking answer. 
uh, continue to be creepy, stalk us, all this fucking shit. Mm -hmm. I want to make it clear, like, I'm not choosing bear because I'm afraid of men and I, like, assume, like, I mean... I like I don't think I am afraid of men that but... all men are just like going like I don't assume the worst with all men this I'm literally the question being asked coming this... at this yeah I know that and that's why I had like I thought about this to be I was literally going into like a very like logical like statistical kind of like way but I'm like that's not really the point of this question the point of this question is more of like a a, a social kind of kind of are like are women so afraid of men where they like you know that's the whole point like women are so afraid of men and um, and that's why they'd rather choose a bear. Yeah, that um, sounds really. That so sounds, I think that's that like really, really smart. And when I think of it that way, is that not like, androphobia though? Well, when I think of I it that, when I think of that that way, now it makes sense. What? what? Yeah, I agree. It makes. I understand why women would say, "Man, I understand the thinking. I know what's going on in their head. I can see they they've been victimized in some way at some point." And they spend all their time thinking about the different ways that women can be victimized and listening to stories about women being victimized. And so they think that the whole world is just a, a, a no matter where they go, every man they interact with is trying to rape and murder them. Except the ones they already know and they're already like, you know, chill with. They've got no suspicion about them. But then they'll sit there and say, oh, I'm going to have my tendon slashed from underneath the car and be sex trafficked. Because someone's wearing a specific type of ring and tapping their nose. I'm being gang stalked too, actually. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Hold I, on. What do you mean by really androphobia? Androphobia, fear of men. Oh. Okay. Andrew male phobia. Okay, I thought Andrew, like Andrew Tate phobia. I thought that was no, the play no. on that. Same. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> that would make sense. <laughs> Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. We pick we pick uh, we pick bears because not of our ignorance of bears, but our knowledge of men and our experience mm -hmm. with men, and that is why we constantly choose to pick pick the mm -hmm. bear over the man. So, a question: no, no, he, uh, Did she not realize that he said either you admit that you're wrong and change your position, or you admit that you have an irrational fear of men? And she's saying, my experiences are leading me to have a fear that would cause me to make a decision that is irrational. <laughs> that does not, does not make sense when you look at it logically. She's not, is she not getting it? <laughs> well, just stop, Xerxes, let me ask a question now. <laughs> so to the women, right? Um... Do you guys have jobs outside of your home where you go to work? Uh, yes, I yeah. live. You don't in New have York to tell me City. where. You don't have to tell me oh. where, right? Well, I'll um. just say I live in New York City. So. Okay, so yeah, you go and you. Uh, so if you Experience if you would that. rather meet a bear than a man, why aren't you choosing to go work in forestry rangers where there are the bears and there are no men? Yeah, why you fuck off to the woods uh, then? Because I like my pension, my four hundred one k, my health care, my salary. <laughs> My vacation time. You're, I mean, surround, you you're literally surrounded by men everywhere all the time. You would take a four. You, you really? You would sell your soul? You're surrounded by men literally nonstop. I wouldn't. I don't care how much money you're giving me. I'm not going to commit to living every day of my life surrounded by bears. Fuck no. Are you crazy? Job like that, you tell me. <laughs> there's there's a difference between a man walking around in Philadelphia where I am versus a man walking around in the woods like yeah, what's the difference? This is the this is the other thing too. Hold on, I'm on what's like the a difference? local hiking trail. I'd rather choose a bear. What's the difference bear, between those like... two things? What's the difference between a man walking in the, alone on the streets in Philadelphia and a man walking alone in the woods in, I don't know, Kentucky? Because it's victim of opportunity is like a huge thing. Like sometimes people aren't even like plan like going planning to um, do something. Like there was a little girl, like I don't know if you heard this story about a year ago, like a mailman. Well, I mean, sure. Yeah, it, it's true that a man, there, there are men who probably wouldn't rape a woman in everyday life 
but given the opportunity in a forest, not on around, would probably do it. Sure, that those men do exist, but the question is, does that outweigh the likelihood of you getting mauled by a bear? <laughs> And he ended up killing this four-year-old girl on a, on a lawn. He never had any type of violent behavior before. He literally just saw this girl out on the front lawn and just last like second just decided to do it. Victims of opportunity, this is a more vulnerable situation. So like you're more likely for um, someone to attack you who in a vulnerable your, place. Who would you who would you rather leave the your child in, in the care at of? the end of the day? If you had to choose a babysitter for your child, to, someone to take care of your child, would you choose a bear or a man? <laughs> I'd pick a woman. Well, do I aim? No, that? that's not the choice, retard. I hate women. I hate women. I hate... <laughs> Dude. I, I'm losing it. <laughs> Fucking engage, retard. What the bro? Most insufferable shit in the world. I am I'm going full bonobo. It's it's over. It's over. I'm losing it. I'm not, I'm not gonna leave myself with a random stranger man. I know that yeah. for sure. Yeah. How about you say is it a man or a woman? It's such a broad you, question. Is yeah, it? Would you, <laughs> Wick, would you rather leave your child with a random man or a random woman? Look, either way, there's risks yeah, I don't, involved. Well, I don't know. Yeah, so what's, yeah. which risk are you but willing to take? I would rather leave it in, if I had to choose between... Since YouTube AI summarizing a stream, it's calling Quinn an incel. No way. What? A random bear and a random person to watch my child? There's no, going to be I the person every time. a man time. or a woman. Sure. I asked a man or a woman. I'm not I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an incel. It, oh, why can't you answer? Coin, Tell me what. Coin flip. Yeah. No, I probably, I probably <laughs> still pick the man, actually. You would oh pick the I would imagine. He's very ice to me, so dirty. What the fuck? Even, even though child sexual assault is eighty percent of men sexually assaulting children, mm -hmm. you know that, right? You're yeah. How many pedo How many pedophiles risk? exist in general population? They're, they're all men. You can go look at a sex. Look, I just listen. Not all women. Not all women. Okay, I'm sure it's not all women, but there do there does seem to be a subset of women that I see occasionally. <laughs> Occasionally, that seem to lack an inner monologue, being capable of complex thought, cannot process a hypothetical, cannot engage with a point. A lot of cases have been coming out of women sleeping with teenagers. <laughs> is that actually a rise in that, or is that just you just see a lot of them? Because that might just be your Twitter, dude. Well, go on a map. Point. You get a million dollars every you, time you click. I'm gonna grant and you, have you that fully. Against... Listen, check this out. I'm gonna grant you that fully. How many people in the general population are pedophiles? Yeah, constantly agree, men. How many? <laughs> oh, I thought you. Yeah, okay, well, this, this If you were to create a fraction, let me tell you, it's gonna be point zero zero one percent. I don't. The care chances that, that I do not pick a pedophile is overwhelming to the fact that I would pick one. But, but the, one's the sheer chances, probability. The chances of finding a pedophile who's working in childcare is higher. Is now, dramatic. I don't, exactly. Now, why is that? No, just just between us. Why do you think that is? Because they're working with children, which is what they are desired. Thank you. To, to right. Write. So we're so you just changed it from random to specific. If we're looking at a specific environment, now we're changing the parameters. If I'm looking at the probability of a random chance, I'm gonna pick. Why would I then go to the worst possible different thing and say, okay, I'm going to paint the broad strokes with the worst possible thing that is the minority of the situation rather than the majority of the situation? I don't well, think it's the worst possible thing. Maybe hmm? you're just a poor fucking planner at the end of the day. You usually How is that poor plan? The... It's a random. How am I supposed you to hope, plan for you that? hope for the best. <laughs> And prepare for the worst. Okay. okay I want to. That's I wanna... why women think that way because we're thinking about worst case scenario. I want to. I want to. She's so dumb. Toss it to. I want to. I want to. We know the outcome of the best scenario. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. And we know the outcome of the worst. What is the outcome of the best scenario? I'm just curious. But uh, I, before you answer we're that question, friends. I want to. I want to toss it to V, who's been trying to get in. She's so polite. No, v, no, you can't okay. be polite. You gotta <laughs> elbow your way I'm in. I'm sorry. Here. Um. Sorry, where did we leave off of? Okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll, I did we'll the move same on. Thing. Uh, wow. A lot of words. 
going around. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm it's just okay. listening. I guess I guess my issue here, right? What I'm trying to figure out, right, is I understand that men can be sadistic in a way that bears cannot, right? Like I understand that in in certain scenarios, like if you ask me who I would rather meet in the woods, a bear or a uh, fucking like Jeffrey Dahmer or something. Okay. Was a man. You know what I mean? Like, fair enough. Well, okay, nothing. You should still pick. Uh, uh, who was a man? Yeah, that was the point, you stupid bitch. What? That was a point. Yes. What do you mean, that was a man? Yeah, he was picking a man. Yes. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> you can fight Jeffrey Dahmer. You can well, fight him. There's an opportunity. There's a percent chance that you can escape. If it's a black bear, I can't. Black if bears not, are. Your butt are, are, is are black bears. Bears. Now, people are Just very know. comfortable with this black bear thing. They're very comfortable. I've yeah. noticed this. People, are, if it's a black bear, listen. Well, if it's, if a it's a. Well, yeah, true. If you're a girl, you definitely pick Jeffrey Dahmer, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Black bears, bears are still dead. bears. Yeah. They're, st they're bears still bears. Bears avoid humans. Bears don't don't eat. Most bears animals do. Jeffrey Dahmer's still a man. That's what I mean. Bears, even gay. grizzly bears. Grizzly bears. The Listen. most dangerous, aggressive mm -hmm. bear is more likely well, to, unless you startle it, they will run away. They're not trying to come near you unless mm -hmm. uh, they uh, sent you as a threat to their cubs, or mm -hmm. they or you startle them and they like sent. Yeah, they think you're like. Now, let me. Let me grant you that fully. I'm gonna grant you that let fully. me let me finish That's these. Let, no, no, let me <laughs> let me finish these super chats. Oh, yeah, I'll run sorry. through them real quick. I'll run through them real quick. Mm -hmm. Um, five dollars from Reben Rubin to say I found it ironic that this question that has caught. Yeah, I think probably what I mean. Yeah, obviously the mistake he's making is bears don't generally eat humans, but that's because humans aren't. Humans aren't living like they're not. Humans aren't generally prey for bears. What when is a bear? It's very rare that a bear comes across a human. In its life, it's not going to always be coming across humans and eating. He that's not. <laughs> so it's primary source of food. Why would it do that? Why would it go to the fucking edge of a city to try and drag some human into a cave, instead of just you know going to a river and batting its fucking paw around in there and grabbing some fish? Like, also much chaotic controversy was first passed by a man. Just saying. Thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> five dollars from Jacques okay. Zulu, guy in a wheelchair or bear. Um. Fair enough. Uh, five dollars from Antonio. Is it Drake? <laughs> uh, five dollars, Antonio Cunningham. Funny how people can correctly point out how bad it is to hate women, but it's acceptable to hate men. I'm so tired of be being hated because I'm a man. Thank you for the five dollars. And then two dollars from Seattle to say bears are generous lovers who respect consent. Thank you for. Man, you get a whole bunch of super chats, man. They're fired up. Yeah, yeah. So Go I'm gonna grant you fully, Jane. I believe your name is fully that you can scare off a bear. I'm going to grant fully bears. They, they wouldn't want to attack you because, you know, why would they, right? Eh, you know, like they, they only attack if you're between their cubs or whatnot. Let me grant you that fully. Why would you not extend that grace to the human beings? That you what is this, Dono, from Mantis? Tell that one chick to bring up probabilities, statistics, and logic again. I'm doing a project on females that fit the illogical stereotype. Good case study. <laughs> okay. <laughs> welcome, welcome in, President Sunday viewers. Thank you for the raid, Mr. President. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in, guys. We're just talking about the latest WIC panel, about whether you'd rather be stuck in the woods with a man or a bear. You exist in society with, that have been trained since the time they were children to protect and provide for women. Why would you not trust those humans? Four more years. Four more years. Why would you not think the best of those humans? They're here not... to protect and provide. Why are they constantly on the list of sexually assaulted? How? Raping how? Us murdering us? How many? What kind of protection how many? are those? Again, how it many? Is, it is uh, the opportunities of actually getting out of it. Like I said, I have no chance mm -hmm. to scare a man. Also, bears are predictable. I can predict their behavior. You can't like, predict human... your behavior. Of you, the humans yes, that yes. were raised to no. love women, cherish. Lisa, I don't know why you're picking a bear. I've got a lit I've got no idea why you're picking a bear. Not even the homeless. Women okay. and protect them. You Not cannot guess the, the behavior of those. Of humans, those humans are very unpredictable. I think that's like pretty. I think that's pretty like. Let me let me grant you. Okay, so you got people with schizophrenia. You know, you got people with you know DID. You, know, you got people with depression. Sure, sure, sure. But if we're looking at again, look at how you are able with the most faith say a oh, bear. They 
don't attack me unless there's a cub. Look at how it's you did that for the bear. Two point five million chance. But, but 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 for the human males, that again, do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, so you, but you wouldn't believe when he was a stranger that he would attack you, right? I mean, I would if, be if he, careful. I'm always going to protect myself. So you would be but, careful. Would yeah, you believe <laughs> that him that he would attack you? I would. I would leave it as an op, a possible. That, that's not what you're being asked. That's not what you're being asked. Hold on. Like, I'm so, not, hold, so on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop. 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 So, mm-hmm. Jane, yes. alone in the woods, trapped with a bear or your boyfriend, and you'd still pick the bear. No, obviously, I I know my boyfriend. I pick my the boyfriend. Case is about mm-hmm. a random man pivoting mm-hmm. to a different topic. Doesn't that's count. what you've been doing the whole time, retard? They've gotten into the the fucking weeds of a hypothetical here. Boyfriend, her boyfriend Just was a random man. Old- no, incorrect. We don't, we, you don't understand. I don't know where you, you understand. Bl- we're, like, um, we don't, like, women at, just don't re- meet point, random men, like, Sam, in a dark ahead. alley. Sam. We, most of the time, we meet men in mm-hmm. a in a location where there are other people. We take mm-hmm. time to gain trust from those people, from those men, or people in general. We just mm-hmm. don't, I don't know where you're, like, meeting your women. I hope it's not dark alleys. But okay, most so, women, so use your brain, though. Use your brain. Though. I use suggest brain. the same advice no. to men. I just want to okay. put it out, I think men... Have a better mm-hmm. chance with a bear than another man, by the way, too. That's ridiculous. What about a woman? Again, multiple. I mean, forms I guess of men do have a better chance of being able to protect men. themselves, but like. But, I don't but know. Jane, but Jane, follow the logic. Multiple forms of self-defense designed and created to fight other men. So I like. I mean, it's just so dumb. It's like, dumb. God. It, that's that's its function and purpose. We can go with weapons. We can go th- since, since time and memoriam, humans have you're fought other humans. You're not in a situation where you have that option. <laughs> you, but you do have the option. If you're alone in the forest, you can fight the man. No, it's who if it's you, you are in the forest. You can fight the man. You approach. Finish, finish up, champ. Finish your finish your thoughts, please. <laughs> okay. It it keeps- it does. It literally it all falls apart at this point. You can engage even a woman. Yes, a man is stronger and generally can physically overpower a woman. Yes, obviously. Obviously. But you can engage with a man. You can you can try and fight a man. If a bear is attacking you, you have no recourse. It's done. It's over. You keep throwing like, um, well, you have a gun and you can do, you know, t- Taekwondo. That, you, and, you, you, and, misunderstand. And you misunderstand. You misunderstand. Like you misunderstand. My point is I am confirming the danger of males. Due to the precaution that other males have created, men understand that other men can be dangerous. It's not a question of can men be dangerous. It's a question of the probability and your ability to face off with that danger, right? And if we're looking at the ability to face off against males, it is drastically higher than your ability to face off with the bear. Just drastically, drastically. It's 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 laughable. I'm going to be honest with you to believe that that you can trust that the bear has more predictability than the human male. Who again in your lifetime, most of the males that you've met do not behave in this manner, right? You, I, I imagine I you guys have boyfriends. Men are predictable. Hold men on. are not Hold fucking on. predictable. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Men are very are much. Are women so. predictable? Yeah, but yeah th- that's why those women in, knew in they're going to get yes. pushed off a cliff for saying no to them. Okay. Or who, well, how many oh, incels do I you know? How about in Australia, on. where that guy was salty, no one was dating him, and he go he went to a mall and then stabbed a bunch of fucking women. Is that mm-hmm. predictable? Real. It probably is actually. If you would have gotten his profile, you probably could have figured out he'd act like that. Yes. <laughs> But I don't know his profile. I don't even know the story. But I'm I'm certain if you were to look at well, this one time, this one thing happened, and his profile and see the person that he okay. was, and okay. you see the different thoughts and opinions he's had. Yeah, it probably would be. Okay, yeah, he might okay. Let me try it this way. Exactly. And the, I feel like the incel analysis, the incel analysis, kind of falls apart because the thing is that what is it? Something like thirty percent of eighteen to thirty year old men now are virgins. Like, yeah. So obviously, there are going to be like schizophrenic men. And that, because that's an insecurity or that's a point of issue in that more people's lives, it's more common that when someone breaks, they're citing that as part of why they break, right? So you can sit there and say, oh, it's incels, it's incels. It's like, okay, yeah, sure, you can say that, but is it actually being caused? Is it because they're just like so misogynistic 
or is it just because of the fact that they're, they're insane people that have this issue in their life and that's what manifests as part of their mental break let me try it this way and i'll, I'll ask v it was a just schizophrenic with a huge history of mental episodes okay first and i'll ask the rest of you i'm very curious oh, okay you have a hundred dollars okay okay some, some money some cash of your own money and you are faced with a scenario and you know in this scenario that a, a woman is going to be placed still seeing over ai calling him an insult the thing is i can't win i literally i literally can't win because either i call myself an incel and then i get mocked to being a fake cell and i'm, I'm fake and i'm faking it i'm just doing it to to be edgy online and it's immature or I don't, or I say I'm not an incel, and it's like, no, no, you are an incel, you are an incel. And it's like, well, I can't. What do I do then? Bear or a random man in the woods, and you have a hundred dollars to bet. Um, one of those women gets placed with a bear. One, one of them uh, gets placed with a man. Who's more likely to survive? You have a hundred dollars to bet on this. Where are you putting your hundred dollars? Bear. <laughs> on the bear? You think they're the more likely to survive with the bear? You would bet a hundred dollars yeah. on that. I would bet a hundred dollars that a woman would survive with a bear more than a man. I would bet a hundred dollars. But here's, but here's why. Let I me ask the rest of them before okay, you go. Right. I understand you mm -hmm. want to go on this, mm -hmm. but let me get the, the answers on record. Mm -hmm. Jane, hundred dollars of your own money. Again, the scenario is one gets placed with a bear, one gets placed with a man. You have cameras to watch and things. Which one's going to survive? More likely. Wait, who Who's getting placed with a man or a bear? A woman. A woman. Rando woman. A woman? Rando woman with a rando like a bear. a reality game show. This is epic. We should do this. We should set up this game show. I think one of his families should crowdfund it. That should happen. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. Two women. Equal st stats equalized, okay? Equal stats. One versus a man, one versus a bear. <laughs> rando yeah. man. In a... In a Sponsored by Progressive Victory. <laughs> no, in the in the woods. They're, no, they're in just the woods. in the woods. Um. Yeah, we're just throwing like pixie and Aaron. Yeah, no, he stop. <laughs> so the, okay, sorry, I'm like very nuanced. So this is like a a contest kind of thing. They pick a random man. Yeah, they, they pick a random man. They put this is a random woman. Okay. You don't know the woman. You go in and sight on man. She could be Rambo. She could be like just. She could be. Like your twin sister, I don't know, right? And then you have That's random insane. men. And if you if you survive if you survive the man, you get invited back because the, the bear the one with the bear isn't surviving. But if you if you survive the man, you get to come back for the next episode. But they put you against a slightly more dangerous man. So let's say you start the first one off with like lichen, someone like totally non-threatening. Like we put you know someone there with lichen. Then we get we we get Darius for the next one, right? Now that's a bit more concerning. That's a bit more concerning. <laughs> then we got that Danny guy that Darius is friends with afterwards. Now we're seeing problems. <laughs> if you reach the final, you get put in there with Destiny. Could be me. Could be Xerxes. Could be Andrew Tate. Or we don't know, right? It's a, it's a, it's a toss-up. And then random bear. You don't know if it's going to be black, brown, grizzly, polar. You don't know what kind of bear, okay? Not all of these variables are random, but you have $100 and you... <laughs> and if Vosh wins, he gets to go in the cage with the bear. You know that one got placed with a bear and one got placed with a, a man. Where are you putting your $100 on who's, who's more likely to survive? In that scenario, I choose man because the man is not putting himself in the woods. He's getting picked randomly. Wasn't this always been the scenario? No, I think. Uh, no, so, it, it's, so let me it's let me try to understand this. So you think that the the, pe the men who are choosing to go into the woods are inherently more dangerous than just men in general? Is that your argument? I'm saying I'm saying they're not inherently more dangerous. I'm saying it, there's a higher probability of. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, they're not inherently more dangerous. There's a higher probability of them um, having some kind of malice. Like malicious in reason the... of being there, or um, yeah. Well, why do you think that? Dangerous. You don't think that he's fishing? You don't think that he's camping? Well, you don't uh, think he's just let's his let own her business? answer. Let her answer, and, and I am curious too. <laughs> yeah, why, why, why would a, a man who hikes be in, okay. uh, more likely to be a predator? I've been I've been backpacking for days in the woods. Yeah. I've been camping in the Smoky Mountains. I've been like and it starts off immediately. Anecdote. Thank you. Like, 
out there. Again, if I'm going to my local hiking trail, I'm going to choose a man. But if I'm deep in the woods, I have no cell phone service, I'm far from civilization, I'm 100% picking a bear. Because what does he, what does he do? She just keeps, she's not giving her any reason. She just said, okay. Going there, like. Fishing, minding his own business. He's carrying Having all a grand of old time. But what are, <laughs> what are you doing? You. <laughs> like, go he ahead, stumbles Pete. Across you, he stumbles across you and why does he need to do that? Why would I want to run into a man if I'm like in the woods by myself trying to get away from I suppose I always took this. I never really thought about the reason for the man being there. I always took it as though you were sort of being you and a man were sort of like spawned in, in the woods, somewhere in these woods, and then you and a bear were spawned in in these woods. That's just how I sort of thought of it, which is just sort of just dropped there. So no belongings, probably clothes. That's that's how I, that's how I'm saying. Like you're starting on rust, you know. Because you're not adding anything else into it. You're not saying. Because nothing's specified in the hypothetical. So I just take it as, okay, we're testing specifically just the existence of you and a man in a forest at the same time. From society and civilization, and he's going to bother me with like, oh, how's your day going? Why? What's the point in that? With a little bit of social interaction? You can't just say hi, bye? No! <laughs> like, you can't just say hi, bye. He'll you know? probably think it's flirting at that yeah, point. Yeah, if it's if like, oh my god, you so spit on me. <laughs> so oh my god, I'm going to continue my advances so, because she said hello to me. So here's, here's something I think is very interesting, right? Here's what I think is very interesting, okay? Which there's, there's multiple ways to tackle this one. But if we just start with the subtext, what you guys are saying is you believe that this male is, is going to be sexually interested and sexually enticed, and that is the reason why he's going to attack you, right? You literally have men interested in children, so, I mean... I'm actually going to lose it. This is crazy. <laughs> is that, remember, guys, there's no female pedophiles, <laughs> because when everyone's a pedophile, nobody is, okay? And so the answer to the question, yes. Up, and you can look up cases of men fucking animals. You don't hear women doing that shit. So, so, uh, so the answer I to the question is yes. I have a few websites to show you later, but uh, fair enough. Uh, like, Bestiality wait, what the fuck did you just say? Wait, wait, sorry. What was Wick responding to there? Sorry, what Wick? This sorry, male what? is, is going to be sexually interested huh? and sexually enticed. And that is the reason why he's going to attack you, right? You literally have men interested in children, so I mean, and so the answer to the question, yes, up, and you can look up cases of men fucking animals. You don't hear women doing that shit, so so, uh, so the answer is yes. Wick, Wick, Wick. I see dead people. Wick, 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 Monster on the beat, ho, beat, bo, any rat, nigga, he a free throw, man, damn, call her amber lambs, tell him, breathe, bro, nail a nigga to the cross, he walk around like Tizo, what's up with these jabroni ass niggas trying to see Compton, the industry can hate me, fuck them all in they mama, how many ops you really got, I mean, it's too many options, I'm finna pass on this body, I'm John Stockton. Hey. Uh, fair <laughs> enough. Uh, like. Bestiality within men is, like, at, like, 80 90 percent so the, the answer to caught. the question wait hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> i want i want to know the statistic bestiality among men is 80 90 percent are you are, is, are you saying that 90 percent of men are, are into bestiality no no the uh, men that are caught for beast any human that's caught for bestiality 90 like eight caught caught yes caught Yes, this is now. This is this is a sneaky little thing she's doing here, isn't she? When a man abuses an animal sexually, it is far more likely to cause damage to the animal for obvious reasons. Men are far more likely to be caught for bestiality. I'm not sure if you actually look at the surveys, however, of people who admit to sexual contact with animals. I'm actually not sure that's quite the distribution. Let me see if I can find I feel like I remembered reading something about this. Yeah, Spider Gun, she's talking about being caught here. She's at 80 20. But I don't believe. There was a study in 19, 1953 that said that 
six percent of adult women admitted to sexual contact with dogs. I think after their adolescent period. There was a book in nineteen seventy four that about called Sex and the Intelligent Woman that found seven percent admitted to various forms of zoophilic sexual activity, primarily with dogs. So I need to know whether this is being sneaky with me, whether it's saying yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at I'm looking at that one. But how is it defined be scally? <laughs> Why are we arguing that? Convenient Estelle. Uh you seem like a freak from Sunday's audience. Uh I'm gonna just You can come back tomorrow. This is what we talk about here, okay? So if you don't like that, stop watching. It's very easy. They want theory. This is theory. This is close to gets to theory here. Yeah, I, I don't know how to get... How they define bestiality. Because if they define bestiality as, like, penetrating an animal... Well, yeah, no shit. It's all women doing that. Yeah, of course. Okay, well, Spudgun, what about fucking this Manfred DiMartino guy who said that 7% of intelligent women admit to sexual contact with animals, primarily dogs? Is he reliable, or is he known to be shit? That one is reliable. <laughs> That's more than Kinsey. <laughs> Though it is just about intelligent women, to be fair. It's, like, educated. So if you go to college... Oh, wait, can I see the full... Thing here, where's the okay? Can I control? All right, I don't think I bestiality is among the least studied forms of animal abuse. A few empirical studies on bestiality indicate that sexual contact with animals is more common in men than women. In the well known studies of sexual behavior of American men, his colleagues reported that eight percent of males and 3.6 percent of post pubescent women. Uh, wait, even this guy's citing Kinsey. Even ha even Herzog is citing Kinsey Spud Gun. We found lower found lower frequencies of sexual contact with animals than Kinsey, four point nine percent of men and one point nine percent of women. Flynn reported two point four percent of male and one point one percent of female aged college students he surveyed. Oh, see, this guy is even saying exactly this guy's literally saying exactly what I'm saying. Dude, I'm so fucking smart. Let me tell you how fucking smart I am. Every time I read a study. It just tells me how fucking smart I am. <clears throat> the actual extent of this gender difference should be interpreted with caution due to differences between the sexes and the likelihood of admitting to or being arrested for deviant forms of sexuality. Paradox. So, yeah. So, yeah. Saying differences between the sexes, admitting to or being arrested for. So, both the ways it's expressed and the fact that you do more damage to the fucking animal that you're going to... If you fuck a dog, it's... If a guy fucks a dog, it's easier to know that the guy that the dog's been fucked. But if a woman, I'm so smart. Paradoxically, while researchers have consistently found that more men than women are involved in bestiality, not nearly all internet pornography like pornography sites devoted to bestiality depict sexual interactions between men, women, and animals. It's quite likely that this sex difference reflects the interests of male consumers of pornography rather than proclivities of female participants. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> they do be you do see that shit on GIF every now and again. I don't know if they banned it. I don't know if they banned it. I imagine they must have. I feel like it's been years since I saw any shit like that pop up. 85 to 90% of it. I'll find the FBI report. Don't ask why I looked it up. But, uh, Can you eight, find Because you hate men. Because you hate men, you're trying to be afraid of them. You can't try to be be afraid of them. Of the, oh, I, I can't. Uh, I'd have to look. I'm not going to make up a number. I just, okay, uh, the enough. percentage of I've got, the, I've got some good FBI statistics as well, actually, now that we're on that topic. Gender of who's committing mm -hmm. those crimes. 
was men. So watch this. Let me let me show you the problem with statistics here. If ten thousand of yeah. those people caught, ninety percent of us... men. That's nine thousand. That's nine thousand men Stop. that were interested. How many men just in America are there? What? Why are they not just getting? Why are they not just doing? He needs to just press them. He needs to say, "So what? You trust me less than a white man?" We can round up to about what. 152 why, why, million. Why are men fucking animals to begin with? So, so look what you did. We're talking about the minority 90,000 over the majority 152 the million. Caught. And I and what you want me to do? What, what is she on about? Those are the ones caught. So that means everyone must be dead. <laughs> is to walk away with the idea that generally, dude, this men is are, are interested in bestiality. That's what you're trying to tell me. No, what I'm trying to say is we can't predict a man's sexuality and what they want from us. The probability of it being... So the answer to my question is... Let her her finish. Stop. Stop. Let her get it out. Stop it. We we don't want some fucking... Be stuck with some fucking weirdo in the woods. And we're not willing to take a chance to to be in that situation. We'd rather take Mm -hmm. our chance with being with a bear where there's precautionary steps in which to make the bear go away versus the precautionary steps to tell a man no. Because mm-hmm. there are no steps to tell a man no. Well, there and are, it's one stop. step, no. Oh, I, and, and, I told you <laughs> and I told you multiple times in multiple cases where women have said that, and you can go mm-hmm. look up, woman says no, so, and so the result of that. Overwhelmingly throughout time and space, Women have said no to men, and they made it home. What you're looking at is the minority of the cases, which are tragic, by the way. Make no mistake. It's awful and terrible. Are they in the woods, Those men though? should be in jail. Oh if God. not, you know, they should face some form of incarceration, absolutely. Make no mistake. Those are criminals. They're still the minority of the situations that occur in society, and you have to accept that. Let just me due, let me read these super the chats. Sheer raw numbers of reality. Let me read these super chats, and I, I, I Jane asked a question. I want to get to that. And, I'm, and V, anytime you want to jump in, right? Yeah, you're, you're really I, I'm enjoying the fair enough. Fair enough. The, the Binks, fact that yeah, no, I get you. Uh, Post not authoritarian for five dollars says this is the exact same logic white supremacists use to segregate from black people. Thank you for the five dollars. Ten dollars from Binks BB. To say maybe the men here can stop projecting their insecurities and address the fact that women live in fear because of their actions every day. How are the men mm-hmm. on the panel going to fix that? Good question. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the ten dollars. And then two dollars from Reben Rubin to say you also don't even know the type of man. Thank you for the two dollars. Okay. With that, Jane, you said how many of them in the woods? Like uh, this is my question to you, Jane. Right? You keep mentioning that the it's the hikers that you gotta fear, right? Um, that it's it's the fact that they're alone away from prying eyes that make the men inherently more dangerous. And the men who choose to be there, to choose to get away, are doing so, at least that what I hear you implying, is that they're doing so at least in part. Well, no, it, it, it is a... It is impossible to engage with. It, the, the entire question is completely impossible to engage with because, it, you know, it's what people say is if you don't think yourself into a position... You can't think yourself out of it. You don't reason your way in. You can't be reasoned out. So if, if the, the entire setup requires you to buy in to a premise that is irrational and defies reason. So yeah, of course they're not going to change their fucking opinion. Hmm. The main issue cited by researchers of Kinsey's data, that Kinsey did not use random sampling procedures when collecting his data. Significant portions of his samples come from prison populations and male prostitutes. And the people who volunteer to be interviewed about taboo subjects are likely to create a self-selection. Yeah, sure. Sounds sounds about right. <laughs> but do we know what... But that's... Okay. But male prostitutes won't be the problem there, will they? How did they... um? Select for the second book. Well, recent researchers have also criticized Quincy's start sampling methods. I believe that he overestimated the frequency of non heterosexual behaviors and attractions because the Kinsey reports show higher frequencies of homosexuality than more modern studies do. It has also been suggested that some data and reports could not have been obtained without collaborations with child molesters. 
The Kinsey Institute denies the charge, so it acknowledges that men who have had sexual experiences with children were interviewed, with Kinsey balancing what he saw as the need for their anonymity to solicit honesty on such taboo subjects against the likelihood that their crimes would continue. Uh, based? I need to get the data. You don't understand. <laughs> uh, based? This guy's like the house of research. This is epic. I'm a Kinsey fan now. Spots converted me. This guy goes hard. Because they are less likely to get caught doing a bad thing. Is that an accurate description? I mean, like, again, it's not that they're inherently more dangerous. I just think there's a higher probability that they might be. And I have a higher probability of surviving a bear encounter, not a bear attack, a bear encounter, than a man encounter deep in the middle of the woods by myself. So well, maybe you're to, more likely, well, just, so, to... just, so, just so I can make it clear, just so I know what you said, that a bear encounter, you were more likely to survive than a man encounter in the woods. If, like, I is, mean... Is that accurate? I mean, statistically, <sighs> yes. I, I think yeah. I would just rather take my chances with the bear if they, like, yeah, if they encounter me. I think I'd rather take my chances with a bear than a man in the middle of the woods. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Because uh... there's no, again, there's no, there's only one option. There's no options for me if the man is bad. Oh, there so are. The bear... Jiu Jitsu, hand to hand combat. What are you talking Jesus about? Christ. A conversation. It you can talk to him. Okay. You can okay. talk to why, him. Why is it? And then there's no engagement. And why? There's no engagement with this whatsoever. It's crazy. Do anything for me. <laughs> Why isn't MMA co co co-ed, and why why is there this huge issue about like trans uh, people in sports right now? It's because men and women don't have like equal capabilities physically to com to combat each other. Does that mean you don't try? Women and bears don't. Does it, you just so you just fold over. You don't even try because men are just strong. So I'm not even gonna try, try to protect myself. Listen, you don't try. There are women okay, who so have thank survived you. crazy things, but there's so also you, people who have survived grizzly bear attacks. So, so, so you accept that you should try to to fight the man if he attacks no you, right? Not, you should not try to too. fight. Yeah, you should try to fight okay. anyone who's trying to okay. attack you. This so, is all so, so you accept that? Analysis, hold on, Cham. Okay? Hold on, Cham. No, let, let Cham go. Let Cham go, and then you can respond. I promise. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I think it's great in vain. Come on, you keep talking. Yeah, you you, you, let you, okay. let, let's yeah. be real. Let's be real. We got to give uh, Cham a chance. Right. Um, Go ahead, Cham. It's Go all ahead. about risk analysis. What we are mm -hmm. willing to risk at the end of the day, our worst case scenario and best case scenario. And women do not want the worst case scenario of what happens if you're with someone that's a terrible fucking person. And that's what women think about most. Because a lot of times they've dealt with just the bare minimum and they don't even fucking want the that to minimum. deal with that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to grant that you don't want the worst case scenario. The issue that I'm having is the Aww. belief that the worst case scenario of encountering a man is is better than the worst case scenario of encountering the bear. I figured it you out. You have to defend this conclusion. You have yes, to. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I think there's a higher probability of the man, um, of if you encounter a bear and a man, I think there's a higher probability of the man ending up being the worst case scenario than the bear ending up the worst case scenario. I think what? the bear is much more likely Hold on, hold on, let her elaborate. Away. Explain that to me. Yeah. <laughs> so the bear is much more likely to run away. Like, oh, like, just so, it's very, very rare for a bear to actually attack you or, oh, or come up to you or anything like that. So I think it's more likely for a man to end up with, like a random man to you know, kill you, murder you, torture you, rape you, whatever. Oops, sorry, grape, whatever. Um, then, like, a bear would maul you to death for, like, 20 minutes. So, but this oh, is hold the on, issue hold that on. I'm having. How long do you think it takes, normally, after a bear attack, for you to die? Oh, uh, you bleed out, it takes two hours. It takes about two hours. It. Yeah. And most or of the time, could, you like, snap your neck. That's, but, yeah, but again, yeah. like... They don't how, snap. They don't, you, they don't you, hunt you like You passed that. out. You I mean, they can, but... Have a, uh, you, lose, you usually lose consciousness after, like, an hour. Yeah. But, I, but again, like, too. I... So, I mean, maybe this, this is, like, just kind of, like, stupid hippy-dippy shit. But, like, I would rather die to a bear, like, in nature, than be, like, brutally tortured by a human. 
No, like, I, I like just, the I fact like, that you said that. I like the fact like, that. Like at you least said you that. know at the end because of the day, people will hunt down the fucking bear versus the man. So so here's people the thing that I think is interesting. There's there's actually cases of women being kidnapped and and held captive for many years. Elizabeth Smart is a, is a great example of this. I think she's held captive for what was it, eight months or so, right? Do you think it would have been better if Elizabeth was just just gutted on the street? Or better that she survived and lived and is free now and Do went you on know to have the a family. Do you know the percentage of that? There was no, also. No, but answer the question. Answer Casey the question. Casey Dugard. Casey Dugard. I know Casey Dugard. Mm -hmm. That's true. And she had two children. Did she not? Do you think it was better for her to perish? I don't think that was my choice. Well, that's, you're correct. It wasn't. <laughs> but now that she, but now that she has her two children, now that she's free, do you think that she would, in in hindsight, say, "Man, it would have been so much better for me to just, you know, perish just immediately." I or does she okay. now have an opportunity is, that, yes, to have a life? A lot of, that's why a she lot of women bear. commit suicide after their oh, assault. This is just fucking boring. There's nothing to say about it. It's, they're just going around in fucking circles. Dude. I don't know how many different... That, that, there's just no... There's no way to... Like I said, there's no right way to reason with it because it's just not a reasonable position. It just not has been arrived... It has not been arrived to. Because of like thinking through the issue and thinking, wow, what is actually more likely to happen? What can I do in this? What are my options in this situation? It's just, oh, you know, the idea of men make me feel really bad. And then no follow up thought of, oh, maybe I should go to therapy. <laughs> actually, fair therapy probably makes it worse. God, there's got to be something else going on. I sent you the kit. Yeah, I, I see this, but it's from a t Channel 4 series called Secret History. I don't know how much I trust that. What, what's your claim? That he aided in the abusing of dozens of children. Because that's not what anything's saying. It's the people who worked for him. Well, the allegation that I'm seeing is that he compiled data from the diary of a pedophile who he didn't report to the police. And it seems like Concerned Women for America or some shit, some org, made a statement alleging behavior of, uh, alleging Kinsey's behavior. And they've they've since taken that statement off their website. So I don't know what's going on there. After the Kinsey Institute pushed back. I never said Kinsey, uh, wait, uh, the other message. You're not getting the point I'm making. No. <laughs> when you say there's a documentary called Kinsey's Pedophiles and say Kinsey was facilitating the abuse of children, the abuse of dozens of children, that implies that he's he, facilitating. Make an action or process easier. It sounds like he just didn't report it. He's not making it easy. He's just not reporting it. He's not taking the step that he should be taking. I wouldn't say it's facilitating. Facilitating would be like hooking nonsers up with kids. I read the study. This, I, I, Yeah, I read through two of these abstracts. I didn't see the first link. Or is it the second link I'm missing? But this way, <clears throat> he's saying... Like, yeah, I get that Kinsey's arguing. Kinsey's argument is like, actually, it's super based to nonce. I get that's what he's saying. <laughs> but that's like, he's not taking an action to facilitate it. He, maybe like encouraging with his data, with his findings, encourage it. But that's not facilitating. They're like, you're saying Kinsey's pedophiles, like he's got pedophiles that he's like, and you're saying he's facilitating the abuse of children. That's like saying it, like he's hooking pedophiles up with kids. That's basically what you're implying there. That's that's the way that's that way the way that reads. I don't think that is autistic. I don't think that is at all. I think there's a clear difference between like if Amos Yi hadn't molested a kid, well he's not a child molester, is he? He's just a... Uh, he just argues for child molestation. <laughs> Kinsey just argued for child molestation. And didn't report someone to the police. I don't think that's quite the same. Though I, you know, 
I don't know why this guy thought it was a good idea to base his entire study of uh, child sexuality on the account of adults interacting with children as opposed to the accounts of children. That seems very like a very strange choice. I want to know how kids think. Let's go ask a pedophile. Okay. Thanks, Kinsey. And rape. There's and nothing else like going it. on. We're going back yeah. to this. Elizabeth oh Martin? My, you took, okay, you no, take I, one case versus the suicide. That's two. Of... This facilitating has a very specific definition. Well, not very specific, but it, it's not it's not it's not defined the way you're using it that was one that was two i don't think rape is worse than getting mauled to death by a bear but i I, at least we're making some headway okay so it's not worse go on well that's different for some people some people think rape is one of the worst things you could possibly do murder Mm -hmm. at least you die you're dead at the end of the day versus yeah but they take that for the rest of their Mm -hmm. uh, essentially for the rest of their lives so yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Cam. This is a disservice hold on. to women. Xerxes, stop. Yeah, Cam. I, I, hold on. I no, I want to ask Cham a question. Let me ask Cham mm-hmm. a question. So, if that is your stance, and you think that's true, do you think that rapists who kill their victims should get a lesser sentence because they've been kinder to them? Um, I think all rapists should get the death penalty. Oh. But that wasn't the question. Well, I well, okay, question. here here's a question. Do you think do you think if if a rapist I, raped somebody, do you think it would be better for him to kill that person or leave him alive? Leave him alive. You can the thing is, let me preface by saying I'm not saying this is easy, but it is possible to recover mentally. Okay, because you're saying Kinsey's data is like terrible. That's your point, but you're using retarded reasoning. And I don't even know that the data is exactly terrible. It seems more like the, the findings are terrible. Like now the raw data's there and everyone can access it and everyone knows the details of it. Well, not everyone, but people, you know, they have a process for getting people access to it and let them analyze it. Once you actually have all the details about the data, I mean, it's, it's still data, isn't it? It's just not representative of what he was saying it was representative of. If you wanna like if you wanna know a bunch about how male prostitutes think or how convicted pedophiles think, I imagine Kinsey's data probably can give you some kind of insight into that. It just isn't gonna give you a, a good sample of what the average person thinks. I gave you papers from government researchers calling it dog shit in academic terms. Yeah, specific points. They're making specific arguments. They're not just going, it's dog shit, it's dog shit, like you're doing in chat right now. <laughs> Don't listen to anything that's said about Kinsey ever, because it's all it's all dog shit. Look, even this one. Kinsey, Sex and Fraud, The Indoctrination of a People, Annotation. The authors criticize the inherent bias and methods used by Kinsey and his, re- and his researchers in examining human sexuality. Because ultimately, you can use that data... Now that it's used... No, no one's saying Kinsey's a good researcher, again. Now you're being autistic. You're spurging out over nothing. Yeah, the guy seems like a fucking retard or a pedophile. I agree. But the data is data, and if you know where it came from and you know the details of it, or you can use it accordingly. Yeah, he was. I agree. I agree. He was deceptive. Yes, the Kinsey Institute allows people to access it now, though. So to say all of his data is dog shit. Yeah, I agree it was dog shit, and his research was dog shit, and his findings were dog shit, but that data is data now that can be used and can be taken in the correct uh, context and rep- be representative of the people it's meant to represent as opposed to being misconstrued. But you're saying a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense to try and get this part of this. It just seems like you, there's some motivation going on here where you've got some uh, feeling about Kinsey. It's like in the moment you hear me say, okay, well, data's data. It's like, what? No, it's Kinsey. No, it's Kinsey. It's like, okay. And move forward in your life if you've been raped. It's possible. Doesn't mean it's well, easy. Yeah. But I get possible. what you're saying. I get what your point is, Spud. I get what your point is. But, you, but <laughs> you're saying that Kinsey's findings are pointless. You shouldn't take Kinsey's findings. I agree. I agree. But Kinsey's data, like the, the details of it are known now. 
survive a bear attack. Yeah. But it's, well, it's, I think it, the, but not if you're dead. It's not possible I think to the survive. Message well, my understanding from reading the Wikipedia out the Kinsey Institute is that they they have a process for a graduate uh, for researchers to qualified researchers to get access to the data. It's just not publicly available. That was your original point, yes, yeah, Bud. And I acknowledged that. And then you kept saying the same stuff again and again. I understand. <laughs> By the definition of the word. I mean the important message is like we teach in society, like if you're sexually assaulted, it's supposed to like damage you for life and it's gonna like mess mm -hmm. you up forever. And I feel like we kind of really like push this like it it is traumatizing. It's horrible. Like, but I don't wanna tell women that like you can't survive after it and you can't be the Thank same you. after that. And like, Thank you, Jane. you won't be able to have a normal life because like, I don't think anyone said that. Yeah. Well, that's the mean, implication. You did oh, this, is, this is the same no, thing that happens every different. time we argue. People, I just, there are women mm -hmm. that see something like, uh, their, uh, a virginity or, or I guess their pussy at the end of the day. Um, I don't know how else to say it. Like it's one okay. of the most Vagina, important, their uh, most uh, uh, most important things in their life. I think and... it's toxic. I think that's toxic. Like I just don't think. Like oh, I think okay. women are worth more. Bring something extreme with him? <laughs> no, 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 no. More than just their virginity. And Thank you, Jane. Like, uh, so, no, so we're I'm making not, we're I'm getting not, somewhere, Jane. I'm Thank not you. I'm saying there isn't, but some so, women. Have li have there are so many countless times where women have seen that as more important, and they kill themselves after being, being um like raped or sexually assaulted, and that's just the reality of it. I but know, but I'm just saying women do. We know it. Yeah, but women yeah, we, do we find that valuable. Mm -hmm. We we know we know that's true, but the question is, in optimal moral conditions, should they value their sec their sexuality over the whole rest of their life? Should they? We know some do, but should they is the question. Now we're talking about morality. I do want to get it back to the bear stuff. By the way. Yeah. Well, this is important. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to get there, right? Because this is a good conversation, but the nature, the nature of the, of the bear question, right? This is how I realize. And again, lots of ladies say, men don't listen. No, I listen. The nature of the question, all right, is, or how women are hearing it is, would you rather be raped or would you rather be killed? That's how they hear the question. And I'm looking at it and I'm still analyzing it. I'm addressing it fully. If you get raped, you can try to fight. You can try to escape. If you survive, if you survive, it's not technically deadly, right? You can try to move on <laughs> with your life. You have very many options that are given to you there. If you must face death by a bear, I mean, you got to defend why it's better to be killed by a bear than all of the options of trying to move forward in your life. That's what my I'm trying thing, to out. My thing is, like, I'm not talking about the sexual assault possibility. I'm talking about that on top of being tortured for who knows how long and mm -hmm. killed. That's the oh, worst. Okay. That, okay. like, the you're, torture you're, is what but, scares but you're, you're still you're, talking about being, you're, being killed. Though. You're taking the worst yeah. case scenario, which is the bear dying. Um, we'll and we're, okay. we're yeah, also yeah. taking, yeah, dying, you die from the bear versus mm -hmm. our worst case scenario with still dying from a man, but what are, what is everything else that entails with that? Yeah. It's not just we just die. It's mm -hmm. we could get tortured, so, we could get mm -hmm. raped, we could get sexually assaulted, but, and but then at the also... end of the day we fucking die. And then at and and there's too many stories where you hear men raping you after you fucking die. So Okay. All right. So so here's the thing, right? You can still escape in those situations. There's still an opportunity. I don't think you can escape if you're dead. That well, you can't do that with the bear either, right? People have survived bear attacks. Yeah, people have survived grizzly bear attacks. Women have mm -hmm. survived grizzly. I was watching. Women have survived day. captivity. They've they've survived being sexually I, assaulted. Okay. No, I just click on Twitter. My algorithm does. I actually think I'm an incel. This is crazy. <clears throat> Get this shit off my timeline, Frank. <laughs> this woman greeting her husband at the door every evening after work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to. They've gone through so much rather mm -hmm. than like a bear, just it's not going to be quick, um, but it's not going to be as like traumatizing. If you, you don't think in your face, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let V go. I'm... V has had a lot, not a lot, a lot of speaking time. We're going to let V have the table, uh, it's, the floor. Go it's ahead. more of like. Going through rape and assault and being tortured with a man, it's 
of course traumatizing but there's like levels to it if i were to survive i'd much rather survive a bear attack while getting like mauled i'm still getting like traumatized because i got attacked by a bear but like it's not gonna be as like can i draining can I... on can I try to help you out? Mind? Yeah. I'll, let me yeah, steal my hammer for a bit, because I, I think I know mm -hmm. what she's saying. And you can you can correct me if I'm wrong, please, right? Mm -hmm. But what <laughs> she's saying is that if she had to survive a traumatic experience, she would rather it be from a bear, because she won't run into them all the time. Whereas if you survive it with a man, that scars you for life, and you can't escape it in society unless you... It's easier to cut off all bears than it is to cut off all men, right? So I yeah. can understand that argument, at least. I don't know if I agree, but I understand it. Is that kind of correct yeah. on the right track? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Fair enough. But Fair enough. so so let me, so allow me to challenge that though, because because I, I I'm still not convinced, right? Because what you you what you have to do for me is explain again how that would be preferable to your 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 body being ripped apart by the bear that trauma, your face being ripped apart by the bear that trauma, in comparison to the male sexually assaulting you. Like, you got to tell me that it's better to be ripped apart physically than to be raped. You got to explain that one. I mean, why is that, that better? For you, would you rather be annually raped and tortured and then <laughs> fucking... Well, you keep uh, adding torture. We're not, not going to get the torture yet. Like, let's just My, go You want the worst case scenario of a bear, which is <laughs> yeah. death. So we're talking well, that's about... That's kind of the obvious. There. There's only kind of only one or two things with so, the bear. So exactly. There's you only you one. Yeah. Exactly. There's only literally two mm -hmm. options versus what... Wrong. But that's the problem. You're wrong. There are many, many options. It could be the case that he's just a well-to-do chipper dude. Oh, hey, and let's so, get out the forest together. And so is the fucking bear. The bear's <laughs> my, just minding uh, his own uh, fucking uh, business. Uh, We're talking about horse people. She's such a fuck. She's so dense. It's so crazy. It's just not going in. It's just a, a just a chill bear, just one of the, you know one of the one of the, the 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 friendly bears that comes over and like helps you helps you find food. You know those bears that are co that cooperate with humans and like can can help you help you survive. Those bears that you find out in the wilds, you know, all the time. Yeah. You know, just just as common as you find, you know, friendly, helpful men. You know, it, it's just exactly like that. Yeah. My whole point is that it's much more like I maybe not much more, but I think it's more likely for um, the worst case scenario to happen with the man than it is for the worst case scenario to happen with the bear. I think you're yeah, yeah, even more. I common. don't agree, but that's the thing. I don't agree with that. Right? Overwhelmingly, men don't behave like animals, even when they're uh, out in nature alone. But like, okay. while I mean, it's true, homicide, it's, it's, there's more it's homicides true. in national mm -hmm. parks than there are uh, wildlife deaths, <laughs> and yeah. the statistics of um. Like bear oh my god, she's oh my god. <laughs> yeah, because you're still around other people, because you're still with some other person, and there's going to be mo there might be another pre-existing motivation. Dude, girl, are are very are, they're me, just still you're more likely to die from fully. a bee. You're more likely to die fully. from a bee. They're not even like something. in the top ten most dangerous animals. Jane, Jane, let me let me let me steal man that right. Throughout the course of human history, humans have killed each other more than any other animal. That's entirely true. I'm going to grant you that mosquitoes fully. Mosquitoes are first. I'm mosquitoes grant are you first. That fully. Animals are, or right? humans are second. <laughs> Maybe that's the case, right? But overwhelmingly, no one is saying that that man is not dangerous to other men. No one is saying that at all. What we're trying to do is compare how is it reasonable to believe the worst of men but the best of bears. That's number one. Let's try to figure that one out. Two, we're trying to figure out how is it preferable to be attacked by the bear versus attacked by the man. Okay. Now, if I understand let it, me, you guys let me like... Let me ask the panel. Okay, this is a ahead. question. Um, we got mm -hmm. we got someone who wants on. I don't want to bring them on unless you are all comfortable with it. But Rashad says he's gonna, he also would pick the bear, and he wants to defend that, too. Do you guys mind if we bring Rashad on? Is that okay? Uh, it's fun. Of yeah. course. Is that okay? I just want to make sure it's okay with everyone. Okay, Rashad, you're live. We got to ask all the women first for the optics. Well, let, let, once he undeafens, we'll are figure you it ladies, out. Are you ladies okay if I bring another gentleman in? Are you, are you ladies okay if I just... Because your voices will be quieted by this man. I don't want to... Shut up, Wick. Um, but <laughs> until then, carry on, please. Mm -hmm. So, and that's the thing, right? The way that I look at it, so you guys understand my frame of reference, right? What I'm saying is I'm looking at 
all of the options present and available to you, right? Versus the options present and available to you to a bear, okay? I'm looking at the full scope from best to worst, right? From best to worst, there's a larger gradient. This Rashad guy is about to spit. He's just going to be like, nah, I'd win. I guarantee. Let's go. With a man. From best, he becomes my ally. From worst, he becomes my enemy. In Mr. Between, Fritz super chatted $4.99. Remember, if it's brown, lay down. If it's black, fight back. If it's white, good night and we ain't discussing bears. Thank you for the $5, Topher. Here, the best he leaves me alone, the worst is he attacks me, right? So even in that gradient, if I can get this man to be my ally, I got a higher chance of surviving in that situation. And knowing men overwhelmingly are not criminals just by, by the sheer raw number of people who are incarcerated and people Criminal history doesn't facing matter. anything. It, even it either way it goes, over, that's true, but overwhelmingly, people that's are true. not criminals. Overwhelmingly, this is a fact, right? People are not like that, okay? Based on the probability of overwhelmingly people don't behave like that, I'm going to pick the man being my enemy, okay. even then, than the bear being my enemy. Okay. So what I need to understand is why would you pick well, death? Let's him? ask. Let's ask. <laughs> Rashad, why are you picking the bear? Um, I, I, I understand why they're picking the bear. Um, I understand that they're, they're what they're trying to say, I think, and I'm going to, I'm going to steal, man, this is best. I can. Mansplaining is, it, is yes, on death. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Big mansplaining a building, but yeah. Um, I think that there's a psychological aspect to this that um, they're trying to communicate. I think they would much rather be able to walk away from maybe a bear attack or die than be sexually assaulted. And I think that because the risk of that is a lot higher for women than men, it's probably a much more uh, persistent fear on their mind, especially when being That's around someone they don't irrational. know in a place with no witnesses, That's nobody that can help them. That's I think the there's a psychological aspect that is significantly compounded upon by running into someone you do not know in an open space with no one that could help you. And I think that they would much rather uh, die. He's doing the white guy voice. Death of a bear than deal with the psychological. Um, oh, wait, I should link that. I should link that. I should link that. There you go. Um, just the taxing psychological experience of sexual assault. There's something I want to challenge, right? In that I, explanation, I hold, on, hey, hold on. I want to. I want to let the. I want to let the women go <laughs> too. Go ahead, Jane. Oh me? Oh yeah. Okay. I uh, so like I. That's not my position. So again, the question is: Would you rather encounter? It's not. A, would you rather be attacked or killed? It, the question is: Would you rather encounter in the woods a bear or a man? And my but the implication my thing, is that I'm sorry. My thing is that a man, it, the, again, like you're more likely for the man to go to worst case scenario than a bear would than you would uh, encountering a bear in the woods. But you, you have to defend that conclusion. Why is it more likely that the male will well, want let to her harm you in any capacity than Explain the bear? Explain why. Yes, let her defend just, it. Just though. by like because again like. Like, it's so rare for bears to do that. And uh, also, like, I would rather take my chances with that because I just think the what can happen with a man would be so much worse. And I have, again, I have no, I literally have no way of defending, even a chance of defending myself. With the bear, I do have a chance of defending myself. I think this goes back to the so, argument of you don't know how um, humans are going to react to you because you don't know that person. Predictability and, yeah. yeah. But, but the silliness of this is believing that you have more knowledge of the bear than the human beings who exist in your society. This is what's so peculiar to me. You trust that you have an understanding of how the bear would behave, but not human males in your society that you well, encounter to be fair to them, daily. To be fair to them, this is a guy that they're encountering, not in society, but out in the woods. Let's mm -hmm. say he's got no backpack on, no rifle, no nothing that nothing that implies no fishing pole, nothing that implies he's here for a bigger and grander purpose than being suspicious in the woods, right? Mm -hmm. So automatically, there's a different feeling. It's like, oh, this isn't just some, this isn't just a person who's up to something important besides possibly terrorizing me. This is someone who could be up to anything. There's no, there's no sign that this person's here for a greater purpose. I think to be fair to what they're saying. It's the feeling of, hey, like I'm here in the woods. There's someone who, you know, for all for all we know, he hasn't seen or spoken to a person in a year. Like you don't know who <laughs> this guy is, what he's up to, 
what's going on and you've got to pick between the odds of the bear probably it's just wandering off after staring at you the fear of Go the ahead, unknown Jen. is what women fear the fear mm -hmm. of the fucking unknown we don't know what's going to happen we know the result of what a bear will do a hundred percent all of us knows <clears throat> the results of a bear worst case it mauls you to death you die or you just get see the goat super shattered five dollars hunger <laughs> games six woman versus bear Thank you for the five dollars, CDO. Good, uh, good suggestion. I, I back it, hundred percent. I don't need the Kickstarter. You heal from it. But we don't know the result of a man. You're, this is what's is the issue. You're very comfortable saying we know and understand that the bears is going to attack us. Why have you not at any point said, "But wait a minute, humans." They usually talk. They usually try to understand why are you there. They're they're socialized to some degree into some capacity. Even if you were again to pick a random person in society, the vast majority of people are socialized to some degree. So why would you jump to that person randomly, overwhelmingly? You, look, you could pick the psychopath. You could you, get the Elliot Roger. You could get the worst human. We, we why don't know you human behavior at all. It's the worst we one? barely know it. <laughs> Why we do you don't think, know the actions of some why do you men? Think but, but, men okay, so you humans. barely... Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, let Chan her, talk. let them finish. You keep doing this. You got <laughs> a lot of Chan finish. finished, but Chan did finish. Chan did finish. But you know what, Jane, go ahead. Help no, her. No, you can Help go. You can, I'll go after you. Go ahead. You finish, so I'll go after the you. The issue that I'm having here, right, is again, you're very comfortable and confident that you understand the behaviors of the bear, but you don't, you're not comfortable with understanding the behaviors of the humans that you live with. This is this is peculiar. This is unreasonable. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Just sheer the sheer amount of humans that you've encountered consistently in your life gives you some degree or some understanding. Do humans enjoy having more fun or do they enjoy being miserable? Answer that question. Wait, quick question. You oh, said, okay, well, no, answer, answer my question. Answer my question. No, no, you keep saying <laughs> well, no, the answer my question. You don't think first of all, animals are predictable. Hold on, answer what my a, question. What other reason would it, a mm -hmm. bear attack you for the lulls mm -hmm. or something? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Answer my question. I want to say something. I want to say Would a human would a human prefer to have fun or be miserable? Answer my question. Fun is subjective. Uh, probably, yeah. Um, actually, depends. assaulting someone could be fun. So, for so the answer exactly. to the question is fun. It could be fun for somebody. So, what's the answer to the question? Well, what's like okay. the context of the fun? I don't, I don't even think this like matters. Oh, no, 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 you're, you're, you're I want to ask you a question. No, I want to ask you a question. No, no, hold your question. It's not as simple. It's not as simple as conclusion. what you're trying to make it seem. I'm going to show you my conclusion. It's very simple. Saying what do they prefer? I mean, fun is fun is. Why are you just saying King of Nothing randomly? Is there something new with King of Nothing? I'm very hot on the King of Nothing developments. I got to be honest. Subjective to the person, oh. to the environment. Uh -huh. So when uh -huh. you say when you say would so, someone prefer fun or no, or oh. no fun? What if your fun and the other person's fun are completely two different things, and you got to pay a price for that fun? I'm gonna grant, grant you. Listen, I'm gonna grant you that okay. fully. I'm gonna grant you that fully. Answer my question: right. Would a human prefer to have fun or be miserable? The I'm average person gonna... would prefer to have fun, but that's what's your point. And, and you would know that because you spent time with the average person. Who prefers we don't know this fun. person. We don't know this what their fun is. is. Average, okay. Hold on, this is an average so, scenario. This so, is an average scenario. The person so you don't know, crazy. you don't know, you don't know what they're about. You don't That's know what right. type of time oh, they're yeah. on. You don't yeah. know. Now even this guy's not engaged. Well, they're here. Right. You don't know. They killed someone five oh, minutes before they saw you. You're hard to murder. Like people get into murder. Yeah. Let me show you something very interesting. Let me show you something very interesting. Right? You say you don't understand humans, but that's not true. Every person draws on their previous encounter and their previous relationships with people when they judge someone else. This is the basis of sometimes prejudice or even racism. What you do had you a think? negative experience with a black person, right? And that is what guides how you react to them okay. later in but life. But to be fair, yeah, pull the the stats. Stats. this, is, pull a, the this stats. is a normal scenario you're talking about. Well, like, true, people, people, right. some, people some, people would, some people who would never be afraid of seeing a white man out in the, I don't know, in the city might see a white man in the woods and automatically shit their fucking pants because it's a different now, scenario that brings right? up my super yeah, chats we're gonna get to my super yeah chats let's get to wick super chats let's get let's get to wick super chats wick pull up the super chats any of you because my money is much more important than any of your talking time five dollars from rabid com wombat to say ask cham to break her gender crime stats down by race I yeah i agree i'm sure she'll start making all sorts of excuses and caveats uh two dollars from infallible foul to say bro is trying to reason with crazy xerxes please and then $10 from Draven Knight 1895. One black bear or one black man? 
Thank you for the dollars. <laughs> that's great. And that's what's crazy, okay. though. That is crazy. One. <laughs> See, Xerxes, please. And then ten dollars from Draven Knight, eighteen ninety five. One black bear or one black man. <laughs> let's go. And that's what's crazy. Okay. That is crazy. Let's go. Well, let's go. Jane, Jane, go ahead, Jane. Okay. So, um, first question. Do Real you think, questions. Uh, why do you think it's um recommended for men, men or women, man or woman, to um walk home from work? No, no. Talk about race. Let's hear about race. At three in the morning in North Philadelphia. <laughs> okay. Even even in the suburbs, just like anywhere, just like walking home alone at night. Just do you think that's recommended? Do you think like people, you know, tell you to do that? Not at all. No. Tell you the opposite. sort of area is North Philadelphia. Okay. Why? Because someone can attack you. And that's like a predictable, like so. That's like a part of human nature that we understand, right? Mm -hmm. That that's a dangerous scenario. Yes. So what's the difference between like a man in the woods it's about bad and culture. where there's no police, where there's no <laughs> cell phone service, like? <laughs> Okay, that's my okay. And the second question: What do you think? Like, what kind of what kind of person do you think I am? Like, if you know humans, like, what kind what kind of jobs do these people have? Like, people Obviously really aren't Gemini, but go ahead. Yeah. I'm not a Gemini <laughs> at all. I'm not a Gemini. <laughs> no, I. I hope Wick. I yeah, I feel like I think just, once once you build a profile, TOS, someone, TOS. They're, they're actually people aren't as as different as you think they are, which I find is really interesting. A lot of people don't don't stop and think about. But um, you know, that's another conversation. But, but to answer your if first somebody question, has bad intentions, then mm -hmm. they're going to be manipulative, and mm -hmm. they're going to be very yeah. like conniving and hard to mm -hmm. understand and predict too. So, but go ahead. I'm, I'm, yeah, one hundred percent, right? So, so understand. At no point am I not saying that men aren't dangerous, right? You, you've noticed I've never said that men aren't dangerous. What I have said is that if you're going to engage them in combat. If you're going to engage them in a dangerous situation, <laughs> it's far better than the bear, right? You guys think the best possible scenario of the mm -hmm. bear. You say bear attacks are rare. Bears wouldn't do this. Bears wouldn't attack me. But you don't apply that to any male when the vast majority of humans don't just randomly attack humans. Even in even in well, crimes so the like question that, that, that even in crimes is asking, the question Xerxes is asking is what did those women do to deserve being attacked? So answer that question for me later. <laughs> that's so, an interesting. Okay. That's an interesting way uh, to put that. But uh, uh, five dollars <laughs> from Kurt Chernobog Rebellion to say new question: Would you rather yeah, encounter a man in the forest place? that agrees women should encounter the bear, or a man that thinks you should encounter a man? Cham, go. Um, definitely would avoid the man that simply doesn't understand why women pick the bear. Okay, what do you think? They're usually, G? the fucking creepy weirdos. But th this is a stupid bitch who thinks that not understanding and not agreeing are the same thing people can understand why you're being irrational but you're still being irrational me yeah what does that mean um yeah i had to agree with cham on that one okay. if they don't understand why i would rather encounter a bear than a man what do you think Jen? Um, I think if he's saying to pick a man, he's probably assuming that most men have good intentions, which means he probably has good intentions, so maybe? I, I don't know. Did you catch the Tom Brady roast? No, of course I didn't watch the fucking Tom Brady Comedy Central fucking roast, dude. What do you take me for? That's a really, like, big, like, coin flip, though. Is it? Yeah. Overwhelmingly, men don't desire to harm each other, let alone women. And you think that's the coin flip? Okay, but here's my thing. I think you guys. Oh, go ahead. Here, here's my thing that you keep bringing up, which is like self-defense among um, women going against a man in the woods. It's just like with what Jane said. She's like what 140 pounds. Um. I get like I, I when I hear a Kevin Hart short joke, I I get like uh, you know in the movie Akira, where uh, Tetsuo is like you know is is the fucking the the things in his head. And he's like, ah, leave me alone, Akira, like that. You know, that that's how I feel whenever I hear a Kevin Hart short joke. I'm just like tormented by it. It's like psychic damage every time, every fucking time. And. I think that really coincides in how, like, if you even know how to defend yourself, 
Like, I'd r rather much pick the bear who's only going to see me as a threat if, like, again, making a move on its cubs. But, like, if I were to even defend myself against the man, that might make him even more pissed off and want to hurt me even more. No this matter how much... No matter so, how much I, no matter how much I weigh, no matter how much strength I could possibly even give into myself to overcome said man. So this There's, is why I keep challenging this. Like you, you, you keep dying on the hill that you believe that the bear does not have a reason to engage on you. What if the bear just doesn't care about you? You didn't even think about that. Let alone for food. Let alone his cubs. The bear just doesn't care about. Oh, that's what I'm saying. You, Animals you have instinct. They why would a man engage with me in the woods? Why to would survive. Man... To survive. To live. Maybe he wants to help you. Well, God forbid. Bears never want to people. help another human. Bears want to avoid people at all costs. They don't. Humans, they don't want to come up to you unless they're trying to protect themselves. But this is what it's, I'm saying. There's right? literally Again. a known reason why bears attack. And you I've told you from that. the beginning, it, no, it's scientific. That that. There is no random bear attack. At, that's not at true the end at all. Actually, yeah, people keep mentioning deep running. Deep. Hold on, let, men are slower. There is like, let you Sam there's go. random bear attacks. No, it ends up at the end of the day, there was like a... Nothing's random. Nothing in the world is truly random. Obviously. Like, I, what is she saying here? It's about it's not just ran it's about unpredictable ones that you can't you don't have the information to know it's going to be up it's going to happen imminently. Cub there, or it, a human no. was in its den, or it, a human was aggressing on the bear. There's literally videos of bears attacking men that are just walking by. There's a video of a man being stalked by a bear. Once again, most likely, <laughs> if you're on, if you're on, on the territory. None of them can engage. This is the worst conversation I've watched on a fucking week stream in a long time. Territory of the bear. You have no clue. A video doesn't mean anything. There literally could be a, its cubs nearby. That doesn't so it, prove so anything it, to and you. So it left its cubs to They probably want to go take a selfie man. with it. Like, they're probably some idiot yeah. that was like, let's take a selfie with the bear. I don't know so, how so you, you know. So like, you, hunting, but this is what I'm saying. Works. This is what I'm saying. So this is what I, this is what I find it very, very interesting. This is this is this is what I'm trying to, to get at and trying to challenge, right? You you believe the best of this bear. This is a wild animal, and you're defending that the wild animal is going to have more neutral to noble goals than a human male. Is let me give a more reasonable. Let me give a let me, let me, let me yeah, give a take that you might. Let me give. If you don't, is it cool? Is it cool? Yeah, or yeah, do you yeah, want to yeah, go? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think a more reasonable take here is I think you're more likely to be attacked by a man. And if your if your biggest fear, if your biggest concern, let's say you're one of those chicks where you're like, look, death is cool, but sexual assault, I'm good on that. We good, we out, no thanks. If you're that kind of chick, I could understand. So she laughed. If you're that kind of chick, I could understand saying, look, I'd much rather run into the bear. I think that I don't think this is underlying misogyny here. I think women are trying to communicate a point, and I think that guys are getting a little bit too invested in the scenario itself. I don't think it's it's I don't think it's genuinely motiva motivated. So Zersi, why is it your misandry. fault that you are being profiled? Why is it your fault, Zersi, that you are being um, gender profiled? Amongst the black men, yes, uh, we have the answer. I'm black. That, what do you sure. mean? I'm black. This is what's interesting, though, right? Like, if we if we want to talk our, about it's it, it's our personal now. fucking experience with it. men. That's is it why your personal most women experience with black yeah, men. Every every woman woman has experienced something shit. Is that your personal experience with gonna, black men? No, it's my experience with men, period. White, so black, black, so Asian, black, whatever. Black, black men are in I said black, black, black okay. oh, everyone's fucking Even cool. George Floyd? Said, man. Okay. Even, okay. even George Floyd? Floyd? Wick! <laughs> What's the need to bring up St. Void in all of this, Wick? Why, why, why are you invoking the name of St. Floyd right now? Wick! The fuck? Which one is that? <laughs> the guy who got his neck bond. Go ahead. So quick, yo! I love this! <laughs> George Floyd. Um... It's it's and women are constantly trying to tell men that it's their shitty experiences they've had. You literally mm -hmm. have grown ass men scared of dogs because a chihuahua bit them once. 
there mm -hmm. are like some of the stupidest fucking yeah that's irrational that's irrational fears i know someone who's scared of butterflies because that landed mm -hmm. on it landed on him once but, but you're you surprised is but thing? you're surprised that women no one's surprised no one's surprised who have constantly had shitty experiences don't want to be stuck in the fucking woods with them no one's saying anything about surprised i said yeah. it's unreasonable <laughs> no one isn't even saying that men aren't dangerous i literally laid the groundwork to justify that men think other men are dangerous, right? So so let's let's understand and confirm. Men think other men are dangerous. We already know this, right? I laid out historically wars, I laid out historically martial arts, I laid out historically self-defense. No one is saying that men aren't dangerous. What the, the argument that you need to refute from me is that it is better to engage with a bear than a human male, that you have more options to fight more options to talk to, and in the best case scenario, more option to work with this person. I think so a reasonable, the, the, the reasonable middle ground here is what, what would you, what, which, which bad, which bad event would you rather at this point? Because now we're coming down to the, if you're being attacked more so than who you're running into, right? Mm -hmm. I think some women, and if I'm wrong, feel free to just form up like Voltron and shout me down. I think some women are saying that they'd much rather die a violent death by a bear than be sexually assaulted oh no we we covered on that on top think, of all the other but I, think, yeah. I think that's kind of where that's kind of the, the the final 300 thermopylae end of the argument is but like, they don't, they're not saying that but they're not saying because he tried pressing them on that he tried pressing them and then they're like well no because it's not just sexual assault it, it's uh I, I mean i get kidnapped by like that one japanese girl and put in a tub and made to fucking get raped and bathed in acid for weeks on end and like it, they're not just saying sexually assaulted. <laughs> if they would just bite the bullet that, yeah, I would rather die than be raped, then yeah, sure, we can have a conversation. But they don't bite that bullet. <laughs> All right? Like, or it's like, hey, look, like, this is what they're saying they'd much rather experience. Mm. Um, which I can, I, can, I can understand now. Me personally, would I rather run into the bear? I'd rather, I'd rather a guy. Even if I was, if it was prepared, I'd rather a guy because I can gouge the eyes, I can kick a dude in the nuts, pause. So, see, I can do all sorts of crazy shit. But I can empathize with and understand what they're trying to say. And I think that there's a middle ground here that a lot of guys aren't understanding. They're hearing the scenario. It sounds crazy, and it kind of does. But there's an underlying point here that I think people are kind of overreacting to. I don't think so, that it's genuinely fueled by misogyny. I yeah. think there's a, commu a communicative point well, here. Well, let's let the women speak for themselves a little bit. Calm down on the mansplaining, right? And we're going <laughs> to we're going to um, give it to V, then Jane, then uh, okay. then Champ, and then you can respond. No one was accusing them of misogyny. This guy actually said uh, what was it? Androphobia? Yeah, androphobia. Hmm. He didn't say misogyny. He said it's androphobia and they have an irrational fear of men. And then, well, before you respond, then I'll super chats, then you respond. And thank you for all the money, gang. Keep giving it. I'll read those super chats soon. Go ahead, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, go ahead. What exactly is the question again? We'll go to Jane. Yeah. Jane, what you got? Yeah. <laughs> she's not been paying attention to IGSI for. Wake panels drive me nuts sometimes, bro. This <laughs> Um, so, oh shit, now I forgot too. Cham, what, what you got? I had an answer. Wait, what did you get? Wait, oh, did yeah, you it, say... would be, it would be misandry, not misogyny. Yeah, you're right. But yeah. He's, what did you say, Rashad? So, I think he, he was talking about if you knew you were going to be attacked for sure, like the ultimate end, like which are you going with if you know you're being attacked? That is why I, yeah, I, I picked the bear that. because the ultimate end isn't just death. We understand the ultimate end oh. for the bear. Mm. It is. Com a complete death and maybe a long-term death versus the worst case scenario with what a man can do to you. And so women would rather take the chance of a potential death from a bear versus the worst case scenario of a man. Right. So now yes. I, I, ch I challenge well, this. Let's, right? let's, let's, let's let okay. Jane well, go. But that, that <laughs> they're comparing potential attack of a bear to worst case scenario of a man. The worst case scenario being that it's actually five guys and they kidnap you and take you to another location where they've got a big setup where they can keep you alive through consistent torture for weeks on end and have a motivation to do so. Okay.
because well, Jane yes. maybe's got their point. Like I said, we'll go Jane, and then maybe V will remember what she was gonna say. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> like, look. I hope these uh, women encounter their memories back in the woods, right, rather than a bear <laughs> or a man. But we'll get to it, right? Uh, go ahead, Jane. Okay. So again, like when I first heard this, when I first originally heard this question, and just like just like off the bat, without like giving it thought, and I saw all these women choose bear. Being someone who, like, literally goes backpacking in the woods for days, like, miles in, like, you know, off trail, just, like, in the smoke. The new question for them should be, if you were in the woods and you would be mauled by a male or sexually assaulted by a bear, which would you pick? Bro. Holy fuck. <laughs> they would say right by the bear. They would say they would rather... They would. They would. That is what... It, they would. Smoky <laughs> Mountains, all this stuff. I was like, they're freaking crazy to choose a bear. That's what I first thought. And then I literally started thinking about it more. And th this is why, like, I just think... Like, again, I'm just choosing solely off of, like, probability and my chance to, like, survive and make it out better. But I do agree that there are a lot of women who literally have no experience with bears, have no idea about nature, and they are just choosing bear kind of as, like, a virtue signaling thing or just kind of, like, just they're not, like, logically thinking about it. They're just saying, I, like, I, I do get that point that there's, like, a lot of women out here that are probably just, like, oh, all men are, like, attackers and uh, blah, 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 which is, like, there are... Uh, you have to be careful with everybody, man, woman. Like, everybody has to protect them. Men are attacked more, like, there's more men who are assaulted and murdered um, than there are women. So, like... By other I, men! What a surprise! Yes, yes. What difference does it make? Hold on, hold on. Because you're still violent towards each other. Exactly. That's, that's, towards that's each how it's always, other. Been. it's always been. It's always been men being more violent towards men throughout human history. <laughs> uh, once again, you're, you're not who, even who addressing the retard? martial arts point that I'm making. Martial yeah, arts in martial yeah. arts yeah. isn't even a realistic. You, you, you misunderstand. You misunderstand. Let me explain. You think the point. that these women the are going to go is, on jujitsu on a bear's ass? Exactly. Like, what's going to happen? Exactly. 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 They're not going to do it against the bear because there is no jujitsu against. Actually, it would probably help there more against a bear than a man to, to use those man, moves. Right? <laughs> Which is insane. But this is insane, right? Like you're not dealing with reality. That's not fucking stabby, is it, dude? That's not stabby, is it? Was that like just a no, joke? No, literally, or? you can like punch a bit. You can throw things at a bear to make it just scare it away. One. You can you like uh, you can't grab a rock and bash. Not a, a, not a grizzly this? bear, but like you can't, but you can't grab a rock and bash a human, right? That's humans are immune to rocks. They're more like it's. They're not as scared. A human isn't afraid of me throwing a rock. A bear does, is afraid but of me. A man is not afraid of me. You grab a rock. You grab a rock. Like you and you hit him, a human male, right? Was it his skull? The bear is more medium? likely to run away. The bear is more likely okay. to be like, oh shoot, okay. what's that? You, Where a man's like, oh, he, she's picking up a pebble. You hit yeah. the man in the head with the rock. Is his skull made out of adamantium? This, this is he Wolverine? Is, the, is he gonna heal? Can instantly? get through tasers without like, <laughs> <laughs> like going down. Okay, this, okay. This, let me ask this. this let me ask this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get to the super chat, and I have a question that maybe will reframe mm -hmm. the, the the conversation a little bit. Rick Stone for five dollars. Ask how they perceive most unfamiliar men versus unfamiliar animals, and you will know why they say bear. They give five dollars. Five dollars from Turtle Emergency to say a bear in the woods would be better off encountering another bear. Humans are far too risky. Thank you for the five dollars. Five dollars from Mr. Metra 101. Can we ask the women what they think their base odds of surviving the wilds is? No food, drink, tools, just clothes on them. Uh that that's a good question. Um what are the odds if we dropped you off right now? Uh suddenly a helicopter came, picked you up, and then dropped you in the middle of the woods. Chances of you uh, making it back to safety. And having nothing on you. Just what you have on right now. Uh very low. Yeah, I'm dying. Low How far off? Yeah. How far off in the woods? Middle of the woods. I don't know. Like my, like a um, couple of miles or like You don't know. I think I I think I'd make it. Okay. So we got one good chance. The other two are, are dead. Five dollars from Wait, Antonio. No, hold on. I said very low. Very low. Depends temperature. Depends temperature and all that stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Climate. Yeah. Too many variables <laughs> to answer the question. I get you. Yeah. Antonio Cunningham for five dollars. I've had multiple women do terrible things to me, like grape. I still won't consider all women are by default bad like these women are doing about men. 
Thank you for the $5. And my follow-up question to the women on the panel and to Rashad, who is an honorary woman for today, uh, do you think if we made it, would you rather um, be meet a bear or a gay man? Does that change your answer? No. No. I'm glad you're consistent. I appreciate that. What about you, Cham? Wait, I'll, uh, okay, meet a bear or a gay man? <laughs> or a gay man, yes. Does that change your answer? <laughs> okay. Because a lot of, the reason I ask is a lot of these women are, again, one of their major fears is sexual assault. So if it's a gay man right. who has no interest in that, does it change your answer? Yeah, he's still dying in the woods, so no. <laughs> the bear. He's still picking the bear. Okay, fair enough. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm picking the guy. I'll, I'll pick the guy. Pause. You'll pick the guy in this case? <laughs> Noted. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll I'm, still picking, I'm still picking him. Even if he wanted to sexually assault me, I'm still picking the gay man. I'll just fight him. There's <laughs> more. There's more ways to deal with that situation than with the bear. To be honest with you, I'm here to bring empathy and understanding. Well, um, well, I'm, I'm, I understand. Yeah, but he said it's not get raped, bro. I have a lot of empathy, right? Like earlier, I'm saying you're I'm not, not thinking about worst case scenario, that, though. I am, but that's think the, about, I actually think about Mike I Tyson argue, times but, Freddy Krueger. But here's person. the thing. Here's the thing, though, Jane. I've, I've only ever addressed the worst case scenario, and that's what I'm saying. I haven't even we haven't even talked about the best case scenario, where the man sees you, he's just dumbstruck. He has a crush on you, and now he's going to try his best to get you out of this forest because he the likes best? you. Just Hold on, that Cersei. Much. Is that the I best case scenario <laughs> that the man has a crush on? That's the best case scenario. The best case scenario is he has no interest. Best case scenario, he has no interest in you. That's the best case scenario. So, so he's an attractive dude he's a hot dude he's got a crush on you all he wants is to get you out this forest you're saying oh, no not that guy i wouldn't trust him i wouldn't go with him anyways no you wouldn't what why that? if i was really desperate i was like out there for days if i knew my way out i wouldn't know way i would go like well to, to be fine, to be fair if a to be fair a if a man, man if a bear said like started talking to you and offered you a way out <laughs> you probably wouldn't go with the bear either right in that case well, no, talking. I'd probably yeah, be the talking bear. Talking. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> look, but yeah, bear I mean, yeah, starts bear talking. Is, is probably untrustworthy. But to be <laughs> fair to them, even if it's an attractive guy, you still don't know who this person is. There's no witnesses. But you, you don't know where you them. are, how far out you <laughs> are. Well, yeah, obviously it's stupid. It would be a stupid thing to go with them. But surely having the possibility of that is better than not. Like, I mean... <laughs> If you're stuck in this in these woods for days on end so and you know there's another person nearby that possibly you could contact so okay so you can't get out yourself it's either you're dying there or you take the chance of this person i mean you're really gonna starve to death starve or dehydrate to death is that really your plan here when did the hypothetical i'd being stranded for days well it, it, it's you're just in the woods you're in the woods. Okay. She's saying, I might be able to get out of the woods on my own. So, okay, you might. But what if you can't? How long before? Surely at some point you're going to be like, okay, I wish there was at least someone that I could e take a chance on to maybe get out of the woods rather than laying here starving and dehydrating. We don't start any weeks. Like I say, I, I consider the setup of the hypothetical being pinged into existence. Well, they just said that. They literally just said that. That was Those are the last words that just came out. No. You wouldn't? What's why? That? If I was really desperate, I was like out there for days. If I knew my way out, I wouldn't know where I would go. Like, well, to, to, be, to be fair. See, look, what she's saying there, that's, that's the part I'm referring to. She's saying, if I was really desperate, then sure, yeah. That's reasonable. But then this guy comes back. If a, to be so fair, a if a ma man. if a bear said like started talking to you and offered you a way out, you probably wouldn't go with the bear either, right? In that case, well, no, I probably be the talking bear. Is that you? What Wick's saying here? Yeah, you obviously wouldn't immediately go with the person. Yeah, that's obviously yeah. That would probably be a poor decision if you're just spawned into these woods. You're just pinged into existence in these woods. You probably wouldn't immediately go with the random person you've just seen. You would probably try and find your way out, try and figure a way into back back to like a road or something, and then maybe if you can't manage that, if you start if you're starting to get desperate, 
Maybe you're going to start shouting, like trying to find this person, trying to call for help, try to get someone to, to help you. I, I feel like that's pretty reasonable, but I feel like this, th these two are still going to say, no, no, the bear, the bear. It's like, no, you would want the person at that point. You don't want to, you're not going to want to die. Bear. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> look, <laughs> bear, yeah, bear talking, is I'm... is probably untrustworthy, but to be <laughs> fair to them, even if it's an attractive guy, you still don't know who this person is. There's no witnesses. But you you don't know where you are, how far out you <laughs> are. This guy, this guy could raise you all the way to your death. I mean, yeah, like, you don't know what, you don't know what the fuck is going on. So I, I, I do think there are him. women who would still say no, even if it was like some, you know, 10 out of 10 dude talk about some, you know, risen her up in the, in the forest. You I think a lot of them would still say no. Ted Bundy, so, that's who I was going to bring up. But, you, but there's like, a I don't huge know what, issue well, here. There's a huge issue with Ted Bundy. Okay. Because that, because, and this is, I'm going to, I'm going to say this with intent. The women chose Ted Bundy. They chose Ted Bundy before he killed them. They chose Ted Bundy when he was on trial. Ted Bundy's daughter exists because one of the women that were corresponding with him in prison still had sex with him. They picked I Ted mean, Bundy. To be that's fair, that's to be fair, I mean, so to be okay, fair what percentage of women? Too, okay, what, to be fair, what percentage? What what percent of what percentage of women are meat riding Ted Bundy? You know, like come on like what like what percentage answer. of chicks yeah. hold, on. Actually hold, on. Hold, hold on hold on hold on hold on like hold on hold on hold on rashad you do understand that there are a lot of women who have this weird thing with serial killers right? i know i know but what the percentage of these women more likely though, to get a day because he asked day. what percentage of this what percentage of that to be fair to that, i gotta okay. ask what percentage yeah. of women are doing tricks on it for ted bundy i, I gotta yeah. ask I like that. That's a, that's a beautiful response because that's exactly the point that I'm making. The same way you can easily tell that that's a minority of women that are going to meet right Ted Bundy, which honestly, it's the minority that meet rides him after the fact, not before the fact. Remember, he's a serial killer because when he went on dates with these women and brought him back home, right? So they still picked him. Yeah, but they didn't meet him in the right? forest, though, so by that, themselves that's with yeah, nobody and around. That, and, that's like, true, and that's true. And, and that's true. And that's true. But again, notice how after Ted Bundy was caught, he still had a minority of women sending him fan mail and whatnot, which is, which Wait, is still relatively a lot. Yeah, but, like, but, 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 but the point is, but the point, and here's where the point lies, right? You can clearly see that that's a minority that is not representative of women. If you can clearly see that that's not representative of women, why can't you see the portrayal you put on men isn't the minority of men? But what are they? Okay, but which one is more likely to attack you? Well, let's you let the women answer. Let's let the women answer. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. You're talking I, about a small statistic of, win, of women being simps for like weirdos versus yeah. like. All the times yeah. men have shown that 90%. they are number one in sexual assault, number one in rape, number one in DV. How many men? Number one. How many? To go look up the statistics. It's like 80% of men doing all those out of 80% out of what? You want to bring up statistics all the time, but I want like the raw men, number. I want men the raw are number. leading in all the mm -hmm. shit against women. I'll grant you. You can have it all. How many men do it? How many bears attack people and kill them in the woods? No, don't answer my question with a question. How many men are the ones responsible which, for the Which one do you, which one do you want? For rape, how many? The statistics are, are unreliable, to be honest. Oh, like, oh they are. Better, but like, so if they're unreliable, why do you trust them? They could reflect the, the absolute wrong conclusion. Just, from, just from anecdotal experience. I, I mean, just anecdotal experience, personal experience, mm -hmm. people, people we know, just like human nature, whatever. But like... <laughs> Oh, dude, guys, the beta is the, uh, wait, what is it? What's the Lauren Southern quote again? What is it? It's like, data, data is the plural of anecdote or some shit like that, right? Like, I think oh, it's, now like, you understand human nature after spending time with humans. I, I, Earlier, humans because, were unpredictable, but now are, you no, understand. Just because there are patterns of human nature doesn't mean that humans are predictable individuals. That's what the word means. As if individual. you notice patterns, it means what's going to happen okay. is predictable. Humans if have you were all, pathways to go. If you were all, if this was a live podcast, we were all sitting across from each other. We were in a uh, like a studio or studio apartment or something. We were all sitting back together. And I gave you the choice, and you could press a button. And that, if you case, if you press this button, the men would leave, and we would be replaced by bears. Would you press that button? It's no. all of us together. Fuck yeah. Yeah do it you press the button to replace none of us yeah. none of us are armed Rashad none of us have anything at all and Xerxes that's just yeah. with bears. Three, 
I, no, I don't know. I would. I would know. never. I know. I love women too much. I'm not getting rid of. Yeah, I don't bears. know about that. That's insane. Wait, wait, wait. We <laughs> turn into bears, or there's bears. No, all we leave, us. and then the bears come in. We, we don't turn into bears. Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> what okay. you try to do with oh, this? Absolutely the same. Yeah, okay. Animorph, okay. <laughs> a yeah, moment. um, that's having a that sounds like a bad. That sounds horrible. It sounds tragic. See, I want to be bad. bad. The, the thing is, you guys always have to spin it into this weird, like, what happens if we get teleported in here and shit like that. There is real case scenarios of women going into the forest and shit like that and in interacting with a man and it turning out to be fucking bad. The fact that you have to pivot to some weird, like weird scenario in order to try to prove a point just shows like you're not fucking winning it no no no, 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 no. You're, you're, it's, point. it's a higher probability too because again it's a like uh the victim of uh, or the, lots of people are victims of opportunity so like if you're mm -hmm. in a more being in the middle of the woods without cell phone service without like contact of police other people around whatever mm -hmm. you have you're way more vulnerable than let just me, like a let random me, man let me, let me interrogate inside. this a moment jane jane so um, just a question for you, right? Yes. So you, you keep on saying that this is a, a crime of opportunity, right? That, that men who would otherwise not do this would do this if they were in the middle of the woods and there was no one around. And it's a higher no possibility. Way. Sure. Higher what, possibility. How, what percentage of men, just guess, you can, your intuition, what percentage of men, they come across a woman in the woods what percentage of that of those men do you think would attack that woman? Guess. I probably under ten percent, maybe maybe under fifteen percent. I don't know. What percentage of bears, if they came across a woman in the woods, do you one think would like attack that woman? Point two. One out of. Look at that grace. A, a thousand, maybe. Look at how much. Look at that grace she gave the bear. You gave that no, bear so much No, this is literally, grace. this is no, people study animal, animal behavior. They act off of instincts. They don't have consciousness and free mm -hmm. will like but humans do. But humans who have the consciousness and free will would freely choose to hurt you because they can. What it's I'm just, saying. Just because you could. The best possibility, the best scenario is more likely with the bear than it is for the man. And so this is the what worst I scenario is very oh. unlikely for both of them, but I think the best possible scenario is more likely for the man or for the what, for the bear. What what's sitting on the floor's base? Shut up, Fargo. What the fuck, bro? No, no, go ahead, say the truth. Was it, we we just saw your dating profile. We just saw your dating profile. This is epic, bro. The, the best is with the man who helps you escape the forest. No, because no, like forty I... slips or forty <laughs> slips. Let, let her let her go with what she means. Um, you can clarify. Yes. Yes, um, the best possible outcome is with the bear. So, so let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question. Go okay? ahead, I, but I then, but then I want to, I want to transition to closing statement. Do you guys mind staying mm -hmm. for some call-ins? There's people beating down the door to get out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have nothing to do. The bright, bright um, women. Yeah. So let me ask the question. Scream some women. Just about, why I'm sorry. don't you believe? Oh, here we go. This is where you this thousands of men. Find you, V. I see the calls. Uh, people can find me on. You guys are going to be talking at the same time. Man. Um, it has happened. I... The, the, the best choice would then would be choose. Like you in the woods. Uh, near, don't worry. No, I don't want to fucking in real life your ass hold on. You're a hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 Beating their fucking women to death. I, 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 I don't. I really don't. Fix your own backyard. That's the main thing. Like, I'm not trying. I don't. I do understand why this whole question is like triggering for men because I do think it's like because rage they want to be a because they want to be a victim of everything when women say, "Hey, I've really had shitty like experiences." Can I, ask, can I ask why don't you like men? It's not. No, I. It's I very it. clear that Cham Cham absolutely hates men, and, yeah. and 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 only reason why I bring that up is because she's been constantly because putting down men by calling them pussies. By saying yeah. that, well, what are you, a woman? It's yeah. disgusting. A radical Coda, it, it's it's triggering and uh, all this shit in the same way that the I'm pretending to be retarded comic is. It's like, hey guys, look at, look at how retarded I am. Look, I'm saying something really retarded. Oh, wow, yeah, you, you're fucking retarded. How about you fuck off now? Well, I can't believe you guys don't get it. I was just pretending. I was, I, I'm just pretending. To, you guys just don't understand why I'm saying I'm retarded. You guys just don't get why I'm pretending to be retarded. But no, I, I know why you're 
I, I get what's going on here. It still makes you retarded. So yeah, you can call it rage bait, sure. But I mean, I'm not particularly angry over it. I'm just sitting here going, oh, wow, this is a really painful conversation to listen to where a bunch of women are refusing to engage with the point. As always on these panel shows. <laughs> they ending in Y on the, on the Wix stream. They ending in Y on whatever podcast. Like... Disgusting behavior. It's absolutely disgusting behavior. Sorry you're coming in hot here. Oh, you'll live. I just I walked promise. in here, and I, it's very clear mm -hmm. that Champ is absolutely hates men off of very anecdotal evidence. Uh, or or I mean, after, after her life. Which, hey, that's on you. But as long as you understand why people will hate why you, women, and they don't, I don't ever oh, want to no. meet someone like you in the woods. Uh, near, don't worry, near, I don't want to fucking meet real life her ever. Hold on. You're a hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In pursuit of knowledge. Hey, what's up? You would rather meet a bear in the woods than Champ? Uh, it's not this bear, I hope, because mm. this bear mm. is disgusting. This bear will absolutely you sound very turn nasty. my society into a rotten hellhole of racist, misandrous, and disgusting people. They're breeding. Well, you're going to have to let people. Champ respond Jesus. to this directly. I'm just saying, that's right? the reason why. Okay, Champ, yeah. you've been, you, accusations have you, been levied. Go ahead. You uh, yeah, um, first of all, I want to say you seem very emotional on this topic. Of course. Oh, is, um, that, is that a womanly trait? Is that you, something you, wrong? You, okay, you got to let Champ no, respond. No, you got to let Champ no, respond. Go ahead. That's a man that hasn't seek therapy, but anyway, I digress. You're, you're literally this whole conversation has been her saying that because of my trauma, I'll make an irrational decision. Wow. Oh, wow. What are you talking about? Oh, you really do. disgusting. Man, you can't just bro. use your typical put downs. Ooh. Are you going to let me finish it's... or are you going to keep interrupting? You, you do got to let Champ finish. Go ahead. Oh, okay. But, so just keep insulting the... me. Go ahead. Stop. Oh, wow. Let are you going to finish? Are you going to, can't, are you going to, are you done? You have anything else to say or are you done? Why don't you just go just ahead? This is the worst thing people do. Just go to your point, because then he'll get her chance okay. to respond to you uninterrupted. So, Chan, Once go again, ahead. this whole situation is about women experiencing shitty things in their life. And the statistics of men doing shit. And the fact that women aren't, gonna w aren't willing to take a chance of something terrible happening to them. The fact you think women are terrible fucking people because they don't want to take that chance. I don't think that's what he was arguing. I mean, he's he's arguing that the, th the position she was taking made her a terrible person. Okay. You can respond, and then we got to get to the next caller. I understand. Uh, I think it's gross uh, when someone tries to put down other people by saying that they are pussies, by su trying to equate men uh, as a put down to call them women. It's disgusting behavior. Okay. You recognize that as well. You're a toxic person. You're, uh, you're also <laughs> racist. It's very clear uh, in this <laughs> conversation. You don't even know who Joy Floyd is. Just throw it in racism. <laughs> Okay, I'm sexist, racist. Do I hate cats and dogs too? You want to go down the What well, her immediate thing was to start using uh, misandrist attacks, right? No? She would have called that out too. If the, if Xerxes or whatever his name is came in and just started being super misogynistic, she would have said that was that was gross. No? The list? I mean, I don't know. You, but yeah, they're yeah, animals. Yeah. Oh, if you only hate men. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, right. you do. Okay. You do hate yeah. men. I think that well, much. And your bringing awareness uh, is you're making me hate women. Good. So good job. <laughs> is, oh, good job. Gonna, He's what are you do? Okay. You've done a wonderful job. If that was your point, you've com completed okay. it. Okay. In pursuit of knowledge. Thank you for calling in. Yo. Don't let her corrupt you. Let's man. take it. Let's take this a moment. This is the chaos her. that you take need. Take a moment. Boss, let's call down. Emotional. What the fuck? Five oh, euros. Let's get in therapy. Five euros. Uh, I think this woman has. This woman has demonstrated that she absolutely has has some fucking problem. Yeah. yeah. From Big Hoth ninety eight to say honestly, it, either hatred or fear, one of the two. It might be both. It just seems like women hate men. Can't wait for the crying for support for abortion rights. Thank you for the five. Look, this one in the uh, middle came in quite middle ground. So I, and said that initially she was saying um, she didn't think bear. <clears throat> so I think she's probably fine. She's just coming out from a, oh, look, I just understand what's going on. But it's like, just because you understand doesn't mean you suddenly take the opposite position. That's so retarded. But whatever, I don't think that's informed by a hatred or a fear. Um, and then she's been quiet the entire time. But this one that's been talking most of the time has absolutely been wild and saying crazy shit. Gross. God. 
damn. Okay, let's let's do this. We're gonna get we're gonna finish up the queue here, and then we're gonna we're gonna oh, we're gonna end this pain. Okay. You're live. You got so many super chats. Don't even. No, look, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. It's really great. I don't see you. <laughs> you're you're live, sir. Or ma'am, I don't know. See the goat super yeah. shouted five dollars. So, people watching this panel and so not agreeing with Larry. Uh, These trauma filled women are broken. Thank you for five dollars. Uh bear spray or bear mace was effective against bears. It's also effective against men. Right. Um mm -hmm. more importantly, over a seventeen year period between O seven and twenty three, there were about four thousand deaths in national parks, um, thirty eight of which were homicides you are astronomically more likely to die trying to just get out of the woods than anything else, than any human contact or a bear. Also, bears are much lower risk, but the, yeah, chances of a a bear, you, the chance of a bear helping you is zero. The chance of a human helping you is great. So I don't know. I would take the human every time, regardless of sex. Thank you. It's dangerous. Okay. Well, thanks for calling in. Take yeah. Seattle, you're live. Hey, ladies. Oh How God, not this guy. I Please. you're all choosing bear at this point. Oh, sorry, Anything else? you're correct. But you guys get my vibe, right? Like in increasing levels of danger, do we eventually hit a dangerous, a danger level of bear that you're like, you know what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Let him answer. I want V to answer first, then Cham, then uh, Jane. If we're comparing to like most dangerous bear, then yeah, of course my answer would change. But Sham made the point like most dangerous bear to most dangerous like person um, or guy. You know what I mean? No, I agree. But on average, the dangerous bear is going to retain a lot more of that danger on average than that extreme minority that is the danger imposed by the worst case of mankind, right? Yeah. So. And and this specific question, my answer would change to man if we're talking about the most dangerous bear. Okay. Cham. Um, I think if you are going to compare the most dangerous man, then you need to, uh, most dangerous bear, then you need to put the most dangerous man. So what is it? If it's the most dangerous Who bear the most in the dangerous world man? versus, um, there is actually a Colombian that had a death a toll of 300 people. Wow. Uh, that might not be the most dangerous man, though. The most dangerous man, Jesus. Might, he might have never done anything. But he might be the most filthy, disgusting person. He just never had the opportunity, right? But sorry, uh, that's besides your point. That's besides your point. Uh, yeah, the most dangerous man is a. Um, it was a Colombian. He used to. I feel like this is. Wait, is it? Did they say a specific most dangerous bear? Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like it's it's type of bear. So what's the most dangerous type of man? Hmm. 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 Hmm? That's, uh, where is it? Oh, you sound like you might be a little bit racist. Me? I'm the Riddler. I'm not racist. I'm not here to solve the mother of all riddles. Riddle me this before you go. I am loud and obnoxious. I like music that rhymes. I'm a fraction of the population, but commit half the crimes. Who am I? The new <laughs> to torture, uh, well, mostly uh, little boys. Um, oh, no. So, uh, and he had the highest of about 300 uh, known. Um, I forget his name, but um, if you're going to compare, like, the most dangerous bear, why can't we put the most dangerous well, man? Well, because I'm comparing species rather than individuals. I'm saying the species as a whole, not individuals within that species. So I would choose scenarios where I would species of man. man. I would choose man if it's a polar bear and if it's a grizzly bear with cubs. I would choose man. So a grizzly bear is just coming across the block. So, hold on. You say if you're, if you're walking through the woods, with its cubs. you're walking through the woods, there's no cubs around, but you come across a grizzly bear. You would I rather come one, across yeah. a grizzly bear than come across, say, Rashad. If, yeah, as long as I'm not like startling, it's most likely not going to come up to me. I they understand. like, 
Yeah. Is my race taking a? a, a... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> it is Rashad. I'm sorry. I didn't. I literally Racist. wasn't even hearing Rashad. I was just. I was assuming you were gonna say man. I'm sorry. I would like. Obviously, I'd rather pick well, Rashad. Obviously. Uh -huh. But Kathy, a no, we, don't, we heard your answer the first <laughs> time. So we heard it the first time. Does not believe what she said at all. I was Yo, feeling in the mix. I'm so sorry. My okay. bad. No, if I no, no, that's good. And if I uh, just briefly, because we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. Go. If I could drop one last thing, one last thing. <laughs> what is the percent of men that are worse than these uh, bears? Like, what do you? If you could just ballpark it, is it uh, one percent of men, five percent of men, ten percent of men? Or is it all men? Like, w w if you off the top of your head, where? Like, we all agree that the majority of men are going to be these disgusting things. You guys said earlier that's not the case. Your case was protecting against this worst, worst, worst scenario. It's going to be like 3% or less or something like that. Okay. Is that so that's, that's even like a, a bizarre answer to me. Uh, the worst, I mean, maybe for the worst, worst, worst case of scenario, case scenario, sure, yeah, maybe even less than that. But I feel like uh, we're just talking about rape, like probably like 10, 20. <laughs> Is that the same answer for all of you? Uh, v, percentage of men who are worse than bears. It's like very low. I would probably say like five percent or less. Five percent yeah. or less. Damn. So you can earn. Da, let me let me finish asking the question. <laughs> maybe a little more. Yeah, maybe, maybe like, a, a little more, but Damn. not by much. Yeah, but yeah. Is this a, a worldwide thing or a, or? Yeah, a, all like the men in the world versus all the no, bears just in the world. Which percentages of the men are worse than the bears? You could do it by first world, second world, third world. Third no, no, we're world, doing it just it globally. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, just, just... Uh, globally. I would say like fifteen. Like there's 15% of 15, men are worse than wow. I'm gonna say up to, yeah. up Her to definition of the men. word probability. I mean, worldwide, if you take like, you know, let's drop the middle <laughs> Would you all not then have to accept my arguments? Come on, we have to take out the anomaly. No, because of a bear is of men They're all like that. <laughs> so. is overwhelmingly 5%, 3%, uh, 15%. We, we didn't establish the probability for bears of that so, worst case So scenario. go ahead. What if we well, had the caveat of men in the woods? Me. You can. Well, that's the whole scenario. Well, um, well, that was the Jane's the argument, but too, not. Like, would there the be a significantly higher chance? We do got. We got. We do got to get to the last caller. So thank you for calling. That's in, what though. I think. Yeah. Peace, guys. Bye. Bye. Hippie Jesus, you're live. Hey, hey, gang. Uh, long, long time watcher. First experience. Don't care. Don't Five dollars, and that the hypothetical isn't meant to be taken literally. What makes a high value male and then decide to avoid that group and watched over? I don't know anything else when he happens. All right. That's done. That's GG's on that content.